Hey now. Yeah, yeah. Hey now. Hey to the now. Hey now, now, to the now, now, now. Hey to the now. Let's get the word out. Let's see. Oh. Help if I'm actually on that window. Jesus Christ. All right, let's do some posts. Bom, 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 bom. Honk, honk, meow, 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 honk, honk. Honk, 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 honk. Meow 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 honk 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 meow honk 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 meow 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 and Twitter meow 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 honk 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 okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go get a water, uh, go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back. We'll get started. Yeah, yeah. Gives your torch like it back, okay? Take one of these cough drops, because it's rough today. Ooh. Hey, now, and hey, Kyle. I'll be right back. Hey, Hitomi. I'll be right back. from my microphone Gibbs. <laughs> what were you telling the chat? Were you telling them some shit about me? Were you talking shit Gibbs? What is up? Well thank you for the lurk Kyle. You've been telling us some interesting things. I'm sure they were all good. Right Gibbs you know? Wait hold on he's being suspicious. I think he has something, possibly something he took off of my desk. Let me go see what, what the deal is. Do you have something? Something you shouldn't have? Can I have it? Aha, uh -huh, I thought so. You know, I only have so many of these. He took a cough drop. Good thing it was still in the wrapper. I knew he had something. He was being suspicious. He was being all quiet and nice, laying on his bed all calm. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not Gibbs. <laughs> that's Gibbs when he's trying to hide something. Like you walk in the room like, hey buddy. He's like, nothing, nothing, I'm doing nothing. <sighs> Fucking allergies have been kicking my ass. Especially with this goddamn weather. Y'all ready for some Chrono Cross? 
What blue dots? I don't know anything about that. Hey, dude, you have that new cheese-flavored bone you could be chewing on instead of bothering me right now. I'm just letting you know. I gave you that bone. Why don't you go play with it? Or you could lay on my feet. I like that, actually. Good boy. Good puppy. All right, guys, we're going to get started. Let's do this. Joy to the world, the teacher's dead. We barbecued her head. He's probably like on Bing right now, because you know none of them use Google, they use Bing, because they're like, oh, B G Google is uh, Kami. And he's like, Google, well, he's binging Greta Turnberg feet. Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow. Wow, that's impossible. Red, red leather, yellow leather, red yellow, red yellow. No. <laughs> Jesus, now? How did you know that that was, like, impossible to say? Alright, we're a couple of tits right here. Look at this shit. We're a couple of tits. No! The first word spoken in human history was love. Yeah. And then he fucking laughs like Muttley. <laughs> the end, motherfucker. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I underestimated the power of soup. Watch me die now and believe it later. Meow 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 Once a month if you put a mite all under your pillow, the Easter bunny comes down the chimney and stocks your bathroom with feminine hygiene products. I'm failing hard, let me uh Try to fail less hard. Like I can't not fail at all. But let me try to. Never mind. The audience has decided that I have diarrhea in my butthole. We can't figure this out. There's some sort of barrier. There's there's flowers in the way. We can see you, Randy, but we can't reach you. Hamburger helper. He's like, I like fire. I'm sexually attracted to it. Fuck off. Fuck off with the puns, Neil Corlett. Holy shit. Have yeah, exactly have every shut up ever. All the shut ups. Just just put them inside of you somehow. Take that sausage and put it up so far up your ass you'll sing Christmas songs with it. Oh yes. Oh me like it. I'm a bad, bad golem. Oh, punish me, Nathan Graves. Oh You know, I think my favorite clip from the intro is the Secret of Mana thing. Either that or the Castlevania one at the very end. Oh, yeah, punish me. You know, that shit. Whoa, loud. Okay. My headphones are loud. It's probably fine on you guys' end, but holy shit. Oh, there we go. That's because I had Celeste way up. All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's do this. What is it, F7? I mean, just... It's F7. All right. Hey, there we are. <coughs> Speaking of sexually attracted to fire, those sentences begin like that. Oh yeah, like you're talking about in like, if it gets East 2 where you, you, you use the fire spell and like a little heart appears above her. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we, we're gonna go to Fur Dragonia uh, fairly soon, but I gotta take a little... little detour to Hermit's Hideaway. It was very hard to get Dogie to not walk into the fire there, which is why, as in the clip, I eventually just started pushing him through. Alright, so just come to this spot here. And, yep, the ground is hot, vegetation won't be able to grow here. Unless we use the ice breath. The ground has cooled down, vegetation can grow here again. There we go. Alright, let's go to Mount Pyre. All the music in this is so good. Like, this is, like, probably my favorite soundtrack on PlayStation 1. Among my favorite soundtracks of all time. There's only a few games that I would put above this in terms of the soundtrack. So you can actually get through this without the ice breath, but it would be very stupid to do that. Oh, wrong button. Since you'd be taking constant damage from lava. The ice is in the way. What? Oh, 
yeah. To get that, you have to walk through the... Alright, hold on, hold on. We'll even come back. Speed is sexually attracted to fire. Maybe that lady... Oh, I guess I can't get that at all, huh? Well, it ain't that big of a deal. Um, maybe that lady just really liked that Adel was making her hot. Maybe that's what it is. Alright. So we got hot doggities. Yeah, hot doggity and a lava boy. Lava boy's more dangerous. We'll go after her. Like, oh, Adel, you make me hot. Alright. Lava boy's a big boy. Schlunk. Let me know in the, in the chat, guys. What are some of your absolute favorite video game soundtracks? Like, give me, like, your, your top two or three. Oh, wow, kid, you're missing all over the place. Glenn's like, I've had hotter. Like, just give me, like, one or two video game soundtracks that just, like, mean the world to you. Oh, Glenn is burned. That is shit. He got burned from that. It did, like, no damage, but it sure as hell burned his ass. Alright. Uh, do you have anything blue? Jesus, you have ice lance. Alright. Chunk. Plunk. Oh, this guy's still alive. I thought he killed him already. Mega Man. Oh, yeah. Maybe Live Alive. Yeah. Live Alive's soundtrack was good. You know what's weird is that, like, as much as I enjoyed Megalomania, um, the song that kept getting stuck in my head was Akira's theme. Alright, Surge gets a health. Kid gets a health. Glenn gets a health. East 1 and 2. I mean, yeah, I mean, East 1 and 2, um... I mean, that's that Yuzo Koshiro shit, you know? Saga Scarlet Grace, how is that game? I've heard really good things about it. Uh, yeah, I can eat like an ointment or something. I mean, we got ointments. All right, we're good. For me, it would be Xenoblade Chronicles would be the absolute top of the line. This game would be right up there. And, um, so many. A cat, uh, cat burglars, okay. Probably East 3. Oh, it's connected to the Game Boy games? That's interesting. That's cool. Bop. I never really thought of the Saga games as being connected to each other at all, to be honest. Imagine being this huge hulking cat man, and you, you're just lumber over to this this teenage girl to beat the shit out of her, and then you just like poke her in the face like that, like bop. Final Fan. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk. I mean, for me, the Final Fantasy soundtrack that's like the be all end all would be Final Fantasy VI. But you know, Final Fantasy is a series where even the games that I don't think are very good games have awesome soundtracks. Like, you won't catch me dead playing. Uh, FF8, but I sure like the music in it. Bop. Da 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 meow meow honk honk honk. All right, Surge gets two health. Kid gets two health. Glenn gets a health. All right, and we got some ointments, which is good because we'll probably be using them as we go through this. All right, what do we got here? A tablet. Ah, they're really here. This time, let's shake it to them for sure. Yes, I'll do my best, Pepper. Let's shake it. Get ready <coughs> to shake it, as Pepper would say. And away we go. These two assholes again. Oh yeah, man, Machine Gun is a great song. This time we shall not be beaten. I shall blow them to beasts with one of the most powerfully powerful elements you brought me, Pepper. You mean one of those summoning elements? Now we're shaking. 
How tragically tragic, I hate to tell you this, Pepper, but I just remembered that I lost the summoning element I had with me. What do you mean you lost it? Don't tell me you dropped it or your dog ate it or some other stupid excuse like that. You're asking for a darn good shaking if you do. No, I'm not that stupidly stupid, you know, Pepper. Actually, if you must know, that centipede monster in the Hydra Marsh has stole it from me. And I was enjoying that excitingly exciting expedition in the marshes until up until then, too. What do you mean a centipede monster stole your element? What, he snuck up behind you and picked all your pockets with his hundreds of legs or something? That sounds horrifying. No, oh, Pepper. When I say stole, I don't mean he picked my pockets or anything like that. I mean he took it from me by laying a trap element in which my element got caught. What in Spice's name are you talking about? I want to think this is the way this guy curses. Would you kindly explain to me what a shaking trap element is? Well, uh, it's difficult to diffi it's difficultly difficult to explain in words, Pepper, so I will give you a demonstration. I will lay a trap in front of you, Pepper, and then get you to use one of your special elements. All right, let's give it a go. 10-4, Pepper. He's trapping a black element. And then he tries to use black hole, which would annihilate my party at this point. Now, you see, I took your element there, Pepper. I used a trap element designed exclusively to capture the black hole element. You see, each trap element only works on one kind of element. They can't capture any elements other than the ones they were designed to capture. This is clearly not a tutorial yet. <laughs> Every Anytime you run into these guys, it's a tutorial, except for the final battle against them. Which is more of a story thing. Shaking! Hmm. I see what you mean about having your summoning element stolen there. Alright, now I understand. But, you can give me back my black hole element now. Oops, I should have told you, I can't give it back to you. You can't get that element back again unless another monster is silly enough to have its element captured. <coughs> huh? Well, I guess it doesn't matter seeing as how you've, you've got your hands on it now. So why don't you hurry up and use that element you just trapped on the enemy? Come on, what are you waiting for? Huh? You know you can't use an element until you've equipped it properly. So we'll have to wait until after this battle is over before we can re-equip it and use it. Oops. What did you just say? Why the hell do you always have to be so damn stupid? That does it. You're in for a real shaking now. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry, Pepper. Please don't hit me too hard. And he fucking literally attacks him. Well, I might as well attack Salt since his hit points are already diminished a bit. Uh, hold on, what works on me? Okay, green works. Uh, da 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 da. We probably could have just walked away and gotten past these assholes while they were doing their little Laurel and Hardy routine, you know? Hey, B, Agent! Welcome to the stream. First off, and thank you for resubscribing at Tier 3 seven months, although you've, you've been here this whole time, right? You've always been here. I don't ever remember uh, EB Agent not being around. Always, yep. That's that's the energy you have. You didn't miss a whole lot. Uh, just fighting these two assholes again. EB is timeless. There you go. Bonk. Oh, wait, it's heal. You're really not going to like this, dude. Hey, yeah. Uh... Now he's weakened. Really? I got a hard on for kid, I tell you what. Yo! Now he's down. And I'll just get the uh, the other asshole. Oh, I think I'm out of green elements. All right, I just attack then. <coughs> oh God! Ooh, bloody hell! Bonk. Oh my god, leave her alone. Thirsty bitch. Bushwhacker. I just used magical leaf. It's kind of your time, Lord. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You could regenerate and whatnot.
Jesus. And he is weakened. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's pill for him. Might as well. Yoink. Got me a Pendragon Sigil B. That's not a particularly useful item. Alright, we got him. Sip counter? Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. I remember you telling me about the sip counter. Alright, Surge gets a health, Kid gets a health, Glenn gets a health, and we got a Sky Jin Ring and an Iron Mail. Don't really need any of that crap. Shake it out of here! Pepper! Right, let's go this way first. Hot doggity! I remember the sip counter now. Ah, oh, time to kick some tines! Alright, and bop. It's like the derpiest looking enemy ever, the hot doggity. He's like, oh, what's going on? Uh huh? As a fight crimer, you will help with the kicking of taints. Fight crimers reunion 2020. Hashtag do crimes. Bop. Glenn is such a freaking beast with that sword. He barely even needs elements. Wait till I get him to equip two swords. That'll be way later, but yeah. Surge gets a health. Kid gets a health. Glenn gets a health. And I get a fang and an iron. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Alright, let's, let's freeze that. Nah, you ain't shit. Let's fight this asshole. I feel like there should be a comic book about us, the fight primers, you know? <laughs> Alright, got three of these big tubs of shit. Cat burglars. Missing. <coughs> Be like Deadpool, but multiple and talking a lot about people who ain't shit. So like the Deadpool core in a way. I swear they have a different animation for attacking her. They always just poke her in the face. It's pretty funny. Nino hit girl. Well, I'll just kind of poke you. Really, four of these bitches? Alright. Alright, screw the weaknesses. We just need to unload on this bitch. Flammo! Start using stab moves. Oh, not with her. Since her stab moves would be red. Uh. This would be good. I want to hear Deadpool, like, legitimately, like, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool say somebody ain't shit. Triple fist? I don't even want double fist. I don't even want fist! Can I just opt out of the whole fisting thing? Kid just got fisted, I mean, damn. 
three times in a row. Hey, T Sparkle, what's going on? I'm making fisting jokes, and that's when T Sparkle comes back. Hey, how goes it? Yeah, fisting. Oh, oh, oh well, that's fine. I don't need to read all that shit. And I got three, uh, three ointments and a leather. It's good that I'm getting all these ointments though, because you do tend to get burns when you're going through here. All right, let's try this way first. Yeah. Going all right, T Sparkle. All right, all right, all right. So I heard you was up pretty late talking to certain someone. I'm glad that's uh, going well. All right, two cat burglars and a hot dog. Any this time? All right. Let's take out these guys first. They're a little more dangerous. Not by a lot, but. Get fucked. Oh, that was my chest. No, no, no. Why are you attacking that one? Mother's worse than yours as well. Damn. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Alright. Um. You know what? Let's do this. It's getting, well, getting heavy. So heavy. Alright, Glenn. Time for big damage. What? You were on the computer. You made my grocery thing not go through. Like, what goddamn sense does that make? Do you have Graviton? Yes, you do. I gave Kyle a little bit of, say, relationship advice last night, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works out well. Fang and ointment. All right, cool. Can't go that way. All right, down here. All right. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go up there, am I? Okay, I got to go the other way. Yeah, because you were on the computer. Oh, it just dumps me out here. I don't want to fight this guy. There we go. Just let him jump over me. It's like I already fought you. All right, I had to go the other way to get the treasure chest, so we'll go the other way. Sucks that everybody already respawned. Ah, leave me alone, dude. I already fought you. Now this guy, I, can't, I ain't getting past him. Might as well fight him. Now I think the best way to do that would be for you guys to independently both watch the movie and like press play at the same time. You know, that's the best way to deal with people who you know don't have the greatest internet or whatnot. You know. Flammo. You know what, no. You're not gonna be super useful here anyway. Let Glenn just do it. Out of curiosity, what movie did you attempt to watch? You're done. Ba, 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 ba. <coughs> All right, another ointment. All right, so now we go down this way. Wee! Must kill Mo. Magma bomb. Don't really need that, but I know there's a way through here. But I think I got to do it in the other world to get through that. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, this is a whole other section to this that you can't get to right now. Beast stars. Okay. Never heard of that. Then again, I've never heard of most anime to be honest. So it's it's probably not that obscure. I just I just don't know anime. Oh god, I thought I would walk right past him. That's okay. Got a hot dog eating a cat burglar. Oh, it's new. Okay. 
My friend Steve, aka Frost, put out a music video last night on his YouTube channel for his song, uh, Wasted. You might have heard me play it on stream a few times. And he used this really old anime from the late 80s as his music video. This old, old OVA called, uh, Riding Dean. And I said, I thought I was the one who liked obscure shit. But, uh, Wasted is a very, um... 80s sounding song, so it made sense to use something from the 80s. No! Don't fist her! She she doesn't consent to triple fist, not even double fist or single fist. F oh, really, Glenn? Fine, can you just not? Really? There we go, finally. Big tub of fuck. That's what you get for fisting somebody three times in a row. Taint's unsafe. All right. So if anybody out there ain't shit, beware, because Evie's ready to stomp some taints. I'm definitely going to be fighting that guy. Or he'll just run past me. That's fine, too. I'm going to max for stats until we fight another boss, so... All right, all right, let me get that treasure chest first and then I'll freeze the lava. I know I'm gonna take damage here, but whatever. Oh, it's Trap Inferno? Okay. Uh, that's bad that I'm... All right, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Can I do it while I'm standing in the lava? Oh God, I gotta run away or I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. <coughs> all right, well I can trap an Inferno element. I'm not really worried about that, though. Yeah, everybody's got one health right now, so... All your taints are belong to us. All right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. All to get that stupid trap element. Okay. Oh, no! Make your time. Someone set up us the bomb. All right, I'll run away again. It's no big deal. There's no way I'm surviving that battle. <laughs> With two lava boys, no health. I should have lured him over and fought him and then run out into the... Oh, I could have healed myself there. That was stupid. I should have lured him out, fought him, and then... I can't freaking move! Chrono tank. Why can't I move? Alright, I think I know what I can do to get out of this. So here's what we'll do. We run away. And then pay attention in the end screen here, and I could heal myself. And now that the lava is not is frozen, I won't take damage after the battle. Okay. Now, if I can't get away, I'll just kill him. Yeah, I can't friggin' move for some reason. I think I'm trapped under the enemy. He's just friggin' got me on the ice, humping me, and I'm not all about that. So I'm about to shove cro uh, cro Chrono uh, Surge's swallow up his friggin' rectum. Damn near killed him. Really? You're gonna do that lava breath shit right away? Like, immediately with the lava breath. Did I get burned? No, I did not. God damn, with the missing. Congratulations with the five damage. That's just a weak attack. Its main thing is burning you. Well, they got the field all red, so let's not let that happen, because we don't want them to start using any summon elements. Bop. <coughs> Go, Glenn. Good night, sleep tight, you white. Alright, magma bursts. Okay. 
Now I can move. Damn, that was rough. Okay. Uh, let's get that treasure chest. Capsule. It's good because I just used a bunch of healing. And table. More healing stuff. Good deal. Well, there is a hot doggity hanging out there. I know I'm gonna fight a boss like really soon. There's a save point there, and I'm actually going to use the save point. Why not? I don't see a particular reason not to. That was rough. Yeah, wow. Well, no, I mean not not just the battle, but the whole experience of dropping to one health and getting caught in battle over and over again it was a little scary. There we. Luckily, we're not fighting that guy. What's that? He looks stuck. No, she's not Scottish, what the fuck? Hey! Hey, lad. Wanna challenge me to a fight? Come on, what do you say? Alright. Got the fire dirt. Alright, this guy is actually not difficult at all. The second time you fight him, it's gonna be worse, but this guy ain't shit right now, so... He's one of the six legendary dergs. <coughs> Guess what? Chicken butt? Tiny ain't shit? Oh, I knew that. I should have guessed that. Actually, start from here. Not looking. Tanya ain't shit. Raisins are black, Lilo and Stitch. The truth of the matter is, Tanya ain't shit. If you have the Frog Prince Summon, it's actually pretty easy to get it off on this guy, ladies. And uh, it's pretty much an instant kill if you do use it, but I haven't I didn't equip it, so... Still can't believe she blocked you? I... Nothing she can possibly do would surprise me. Actually, no, I'm lying. If she acted like a total, like a human being and like apologized to everybody and, and, and stopped being somebody who ain't shit, that would surprise me. But anything else, not surprising. Glenn, stop missing so much. You're, you're not hitting. You have to hit the guy. He's just standing there. This guy's got a hard on for Glenn. Should probably try to steal from him too. Bah. The problem with stealing from him is it is a red element, so that will power him up. Oh my god, I didn't think that would do that much. Oh, fuck. Run away. This is a boss, there's no way I'm run missing out on him getting a star. We'll come back and do it again. He was just zeroed in on fucking Glenn. <coughs> hey, no, 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 I want to challenge you, lad. Hey, lad, I want to challenge you to fight. Come on, what do you say? Oh my god, wait. Are you kidding me? You won't give me the chance to heal? All right, whatever. Well, I don't think it was that, personally, now. I think... What it, what it was partly that, but um, a certain someone else who ain't shit, you know, somebody with a fake sounding name claims to have taken responsibility for uh, Tanya's blocking, so. I kind of doubt it, but that person was saying that they caused her to do that. Alright, hold on, wait, we gotta, maybe. Oh god, you don't have any healing elements, do you? Alright, just do that then. Glenn's got one entire ass hit point, so. Alright, just don't don't attack Glenn, really. Just don't attack Glenn. What did I just say, dude? Usually when you run from a boss, you get the chance to heal yourself. Yeah, personally I don't believe it for a second, but. And unfortunately, I can't heal him there because he's got zero health. 
Okay. Usually it lets you go into the menu. Alright, don't start with Surge, that's all. I think Glenn himself has healing stuff, so I'll start with Glenn. This is usually a very easy battle, but... He's concentrating all on one character that... That's shitty. There we go, just do this. <coughs> Personally, I think the reason that... Katya blocked, uh, specifically Kyle... ...was because I said in a stream that she wouldn't. And of course that gets back to her. Fiery breath. Oh my god. And it burned her. Alright, that's fine. What am I actually going to do, though? Um, I really don't want to use Pilfer. I think uh, we'll just go with the one Ice Lance I had. Taint going well. Oh, there we go. That should heal him all the way. Or not. It probably would have been better to use Cure if he had it than heal, but whatever. And Kid, of course, is burned, so that's fantastic. You're attacking the one character that c can take it more than the other, so... PayPal ain't shit. Hey, Wayne, first of all, what's going on, Wayne? Secondly, what did PayPal do? What happened? Uh... You know what? I'm gonna steal. Even though Dad's red to the field, I wanna see what he's got. Yoink! Magic ring? Eh, whatever. Fiery breath. No, oh, Surge is full health. Alright. <laughs> what did PayPal do? I'm down here this. God, this guy won't even let me do a combo. He's constantly interrupting my ass. Fuck off, buddy. Glamo. He's weakened. Leaning on his staff. Alright, uh, yeah, do that. Not the most effective move, but it'll do damage. Glenn might be able to finish it. As long as you get some good attacks off without missing or getting interrupted. Uh, I said without missing. Oh god. Uh, god. do it to Kid, please. Oh, Surge might be able to take that. Okay, cool. Alright, I remember this being a lot easier. Hopefully this has enough to kill. You limited your account? What? Why would they do that? Oh my god, this guy's still standing. Oh no. Oh god, of course he got a turn right there. Alright, it's fine. Glenn has some health right now. Hey, super handy. What's going on? Oh my god. Uh, your, your emote that you used there... It's funny because it looks like Surge in a way. Yep, Chrono Cross. Well, I would contact them and find out exactly what the actual fuck is going on. Alright. I need to kill this guy because he's been kicking my ass. 
No, that's not Surge. That's a streamer who has Surge's headband on. I've seen the emote without the headband before. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. My name's NecroVMX. I stream every single day. A variety of different games. And we have a Discord if you'd like to join it. Alright, so we got another star. Surge gets 10 health, resistance, and magic resistance. Kid gets 10 health, and magic resistance. Wait, it's your emote? Oh, I see. You modified the pod chain. Okay, cool. That's cool. All right, and Glenn gets eight health, two strength, resistance, and a magic resistance. And we got seven. All right, a weaken. That's shitty. I did not need a weaken element. Hey, not bad, lad. I'm sure you'll see you again. Is this my first playthrough? Definitely not, man. I've played this so many times. All right, I gotta use an ointment, though. Why does everybody always ask if it's my first playthrough? I'm curious about why I always get asked that, like in every game. Not that. Is that like because people want to backseat? Is that what it is? But no, it's it's not my first playthrough. Oh, you just don't want to spoil anything. Well, don't spoil anything because there are people watching who've never um, seen the whole thing. That's far enough. Was it Karsh? I think it's Karsh. Yeah. And Marcy and Zoa. Karsh? Huh? Is that you, Glenn? Why are you with these bozos, huh? Please, Karsh, we need to get through. I need to see... I need to see for myself what is happening. Even if that means leaving the Dragoons. Ha! You call yourself a Dragoon. But... In the name of the Acacia Dragoons, you ain't getting past here. This will be the end of you all. I don't care about you, Glenn. And Surge, I hate you. I hate your friends, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, your great-grandma, your... I hate them all. I hate you. I just despise you. I really, really abhor you. <laughs> it looks like she can't stand you. Well then, it's time for you to die. All right. Marcy is by far the most dangerous of these three, so I'll probably have to go after her first. You speedrunning? Oh, that's cool, dude. It's a long ass game to be speedrunning. Wow. Okay, you're already attacking. Ha! I hit you with my fist. Really, dude? I hate you! Alright, uh. Magma Bomb. Ooh. Yeah, it, it is true, T Sparkle. Like, your mom is not all that bad in the course of things. I was just gonna say the kid has the uh, ability to do a lot of damage to her, and then, of course, I get interrupted. This friggin' axial axe shit. I just don't want her to get Cat's Cradle off if I can... Oh, God, why can't you hit anybody, kid? I abhor you! What are you calling a whore? All right. Geronimo. They seem to be wasting a lot of their techs early. And everybody's got a hard-on for kid. Oh! Why? She's weakened to- oh, string phone? Alright, well it's not as bad as Cat's Cradle. <coughs> I did not want her to get off any attacks, that's why I was attacking her first. Alright. X-Strike would have been good there, but I need to heal. No, I agree with you, EB. I'm just saying it sometimes it helps to put things in perspective. You enjoy pain. Like Kyle's mom is a, is a pain in the ass. There's no getting around that. Okay, so I guess I'll go after Karsh next because he's slightly more dangerous than Zoa. Zoa really ain't shit. Nice. I kick you with my leg. Oh, 
Honestly, I would actually really enjoy watching you play Pokemon Snap. I haven't seen that game in ages. Uh, you're, you're yeah, able we'll to do this. Glenn, you're not going to do a lot of damage to him, but he is weakened. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Now, this guy's what? Yellow? Alright, so I gotta start using green, which is good. I need to heal anyway. Ah, oh, you went through that fast, Dragon Rider. Ba ba da ba! Bonk! I suplex you with my elbow. Right. Hey, let me ask you a question, Super Handy. Um, when you speedrun Chrono Cross, I never thought of something like that, but when you speedrun Chrono Cross, which path do you take at the beginning? Do you do Pierre because it's short? I figured. Okay. I mean, that's definitely the hardest path, but it is the quickest. I always take Mickey's path. I just like that one the most. Plus, I just like Mickey as a character more than the other two. <coughs> and you go for Glenn over Razzly, right? Alright, it's another star. Alright, Surge gets 11 hit points of magic resistance. Kid gets 7 hit health with a strength. And Glenn just gets every stat you can think of. Eagle Eye, Golden Ring, Iron Vest. Pierre is ass. Yeah, the crazy thing about Pierre is you can get his really good equipment late in the game and make him only suck slightly less. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's up to you. Impossible. There's no way I'd lose. Gosh, it's almost time. Damn it. I'll get even for this. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. What are you taunting? You lost! Usually you'd want somebody to suck more? Wow. That's a different type of game. Alright. Um, hold on. How do I do this thing again? Like this. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna give you... Uh... Do I really not have any bushwhackers? Alright. That's what I was going to give. Uh, let's give you a... Uh... Actually, you know what I want to do is... Um... Some more healing stuff, I think. Let's give you Cure. And here I will put... Probably Arrow Saucer, maybe? Yeah. And here I'll put... Uh, Magma Burst would be good there, okay. Oh, that was recent, huh? Interesting. Alright, let's give you... I was gonna think Gravity Blow, actually. And here I'll put... Meteorite. Haha, <laughs> too bad you can't craft stuff like Yeet Chatter Hawk, yeah. That would be the dream, right? Alright. And as for you, how do you just not even have anything? Alright, uplift. Whoa, hello, we're pressing all kinds of wrong buttons here. Like, are you looking for good games or bad games? Oh, no, not that one, that one. And, oh, you know what? Actually, now put upheaval here. Yeah, that's right, okay. Surge. It's okay, man. Don't worry about it. Surge, if you proceed any further, there will be no turning back, no? <coughs> Even so, you still wish to go, Surge. Keep going. I see. I won't stop you. 
Don't die. See you later, Harl. Sudden FMV is sudden. You ever play Blast Core? That's a really good game. That would be a good stream, uh, Kyle. Blast Core is really fun. It shouldn't be that expensive. Alright, we finally reached Fort Dragonia. This doesn't look good. It ain't gonna be good. Let's enjoy this music for a moment, though. You know what, actually, while I'm enjoying the music, I might as well, like, save. Actually, uh, super handy, I wanted to ask you, because we were talking about this earlier, we were talking about, like, what is, like, your favorite, like, give me, like, two or three, your favorite soundtracks from video games. Not counting Chrono Cross, because obviously that's, like, right up there. Only when you fulfill the requirements can you attend the ceremony. Return the colored crystals to their grandmaster. So I said this game, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is up there. That's like number one for me easily. And then probably this one. And then after that, it would be like probably some weird shit. Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, that's a good one. I actually put Final Fantasy VI in there. Um, Tactics is a great one. Tactics is just... That's a heavy game. Zero Ranger, there you go. That's what I was thinking of when I was thinking of just like some weird shit. There we go. Alright, let's start over here, because why the fuck not? Got lots of things to do here. <coughs> Sayonara Wild Hearts, not familiar with that one. I think the, uh, oh, Final Fantasy IX, I think Terry said that earlier. Let me see what happened. I heard an alert. Super handy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the community. And like I said, if you haven't joined the Discord, I, I heartily recommend it. We have a great community. Uh, let me fight that guy, actually. Come here. How many shmups have you played, though, T? Like, are you good at, like, shmups? Because that's the kind of, it, it's not an easy game. All right, we got combats and Googles. All right. Oh, that's right. Noun does like a song from the East uh, East Origin soundtrack, but she doesn't like to talk about it all that much. Oh, I already have a Luminaire. Fuck, let's do it. Might as well show it off. Things are getting bright. She probably has her tech, too, then. Ow, quit it. East 3. Wanderers from East or Oath and Fogana. That is a hell of a soundtrack. Let's do Red Pen. Hello, Daggers! Right, we'll try to show off Glenn's new tech soon. Alright, uh, th thank you for the lurk, thank you for coming by. Uh, lurker lives matter. Surge gets a health, Kate gets three health, Blood gets three health, and two blackouts and an electro bolt. I'm starting to get good techs, uh, techs, good, um, what should we call them? Elements dropped more often. I should clear these enemies out before I try to solve any puzzles. All right, what do we got here? I gotta move the microphone up a little bit. I feel like I'm not anywhere near it. Well, let me adjust this. Oh, that's a lot better. There we go. Okay. All right, now I want Glenn to do his tech, so let's... All right. Oh, he doesn't have his yet? Oh, well. That, that, that's fine. A rhythm action game at the same time not? Kind of like, I guess like, uh, 
something in the vein of uh, Gurman, where it's, it's like an action RPG, but there's a rhythm element to it to get criticals. Sort of like that? Okay. Alright. Might as well. Dead. Kate's like, Oi! I don't get to fucking attack! I don't get to attack, mate! Sword gets two health, Kid gets two health, Blend gets two health, and some gravity blows, whatever. Alright. Let's see about Le Puzzle. do this. Wait, not this way. That would be bad. I gotta go this way. <coughs> I think that just resets the puzzle. Shit. Can I even do it now, or do I have to move on and do it on the way back? I might have to move on and do it on the way back. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. Alright. Well, that's cool. Sounds interesting. Sounds almost like um, like it might be inspired by Res. We Dragonians are comprised of a head, body, and tail. That must change the order of the head, body, and tail to unveil a new path. Oh, right. Let it be the body, head, then tail. Because I put her in front. All right, hold on. How did I switch that? There's a way to do that. I don't know how that happened. I don't remember doing that, but apparently they got swapped at some point. Oh, I love when I press the wrong button several times in a row. Is it customized? No, it's not. Yeah, the Reptites. How did Kid wind up in the front? I'm trying to remember... There's a button you press to change the uh, order of character. Oh, you know what? It might have just been that I went on that thing over there. All right, well, that moved things around, right? Let's see. Yes. That's not helpful, though. All right. You know what it was? It was that I touched that thing. All right, that didn't help. Let's hit it again, then. The Dragonians are essentially from an alternate reality where the Reptites didn't die out. since this game's all about alternate realities. Head, body, tail. So this is the normal order. I forget how to actually change orders, though. Yeah, that doesn't help. Does this actually change anything, or does this just... No, that doesn't help me much. I need to put, like, Glenn in front or something. not helping me much. I can't use the teleporter to change it, so... Wait, 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 no, 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 look. Right here. Do it. All right, I'm, I'm remembering a little better now. Thanks for that now, and that makes me feel great. Oh, that ain't it. Ooh, okay, I clearly gotta move the uh, the little things again, unless I go down this way. Yeah, no, I didn't think that led anywhere. Could have sworn there was a button that just swapped the characters around, but clearly not.
This puzzle was a lot easier with my 20 year old brain, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't hit the thing. The weird thing is this only gives me like two possibilities. But maybe I only need two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not that, okay. All right, now, uh... Hmm. Wait, no, no, get down there. Go over to the other side. Is this gonna be good? Let's see. No, that's not helping me at all. Fuck. Maybe I have to keep hitting it? God, I wish I remembered exactly how this works. No, yeah, yeah, do it again. See if it changes again. Well, I, I lowered a, um, a staircase, but I, um, I need to move these things. These things move. And, uh, I need to move one in a position that would let me, I need to get to the center, basically, but the, the upper level. You figure, like, Surge could just fucking give Kid a boost and she can climb up there, you know what I mean? But no, we're not doing that, apparently. Alright, yeah, that didn't help me. I wish I remembered the exact mechanics. Like, I, you have to change the order your characters are in. That's the most important thing. But I don't remember how to do it other than hitting that thing. Like, it's gotta be in the menu somewhere, right? Status element equip. I mean, normally you'd be able to do it with the teleporter, but that's, like, grayed out here, so... I mean, I already hit this switch. I don't think it does anything again. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about your arm. Select! Oh, why didn't I think of that? Thank you so much. Alright, it's the select button. Why wasn't I thinking of that? I hit every other button on the controller. <coughs> I kept hitting, like, the, the, the R buttons and the L buttons. You know, I thought it was something up there for some reason. Probably because I was thinking of Final Fantasy. Okay, yeah, see that that helped. Now I can get to that treasure chest. Earth charm? Okay. Now let me just check out the other side. Yeah, most Final Fantasy games let you change the order of characters with shoulder buttons, and that's what I was thinking of. Alright, there's nothing else I can do, so we'll change character order again. Put Glenn in front this time. Oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. Hmm. Well, I guess in Final Fantasy VII Remake it's important, because I think, don't you only control one character at a time in that? In battle, at least? My 20-year-old brain did this a lot easier than my 40-year-old brain, you know? Ah, uh, okay. It's a much more preferable version of the human centipede? Oh, well, it's the human cent iPad. Electro ball. Okay, that's cool. And I probably want to hit that other thing that will switch the other characters. That all right, they'll change the actual order. It's the human sent iPad. Is that literally just because Barrett is tall? 
Or does he, like, shoot them down? Because he can shoot them? Okay, that's okay. I didn't realize that you said uh, range with the weapons there. I was, I was just skimming it, but I, I was thinking of, like... Oh, wait, I didn't go in the room. I, I was thinking about, like, uh... Like, oh, you can get this item, Barrett, because Cloud's not big enough. Have I seen any gameplay of Mystery Dungeon DX? A uh, certain person that we know streamed it, and I watched a little bit of that. I was kind of thinking like Breath of Fire 4, where there's like something on a high shelf, and you have to get like Urshan to bash the thing. Oh, that didn't help. Alright, hold on, we'll try this then. Oh, don't go there. Go in here. I mean, personally, it just it looks like the same old game, just with new graphics. So, I mean, I never was really super into those mystery dungeon games. So it's it's like not my type of thing. But like I said, there was, a, there was somebody that we both know that streamed it. Okay, this is good. This is good. <coughs> this should lower the thing down so we can get there. Oh, God, play it a little bit of it. That's true, yeah. All right, uh, let's put Surge back in front. I actually keep the order like this because I like Glenn going second. Because of how much damage he does. The thing is, you can make them go in whatever order you want, but. Yeah, I already cleared out the two bats that were wandering around, so I wouldn't have to deal with them. Alright. So that's one dragon statue. Thankfully, no boss. Some of them make you fight bosses, but that was a puzzle one, so... Look at these freaking chess pieces. Those are very large pawns and bishops. Alright, let's do this one, just because it's close to me. So bad from what I remember. Let's see what we got. Okay. These treasure chests move the platform, so. Actually, I think I'd like to go there first. Yeah, let's go to that way first. I should probably fight this bat at some point, but from my experience, he just winds up attacking you at one point. Like a dive bomb as you go by or something. Yep, yeah, there he goes. This one asshole. He is an ass, isn't he? Like, you think you know where he is, but then one day he just, just dive bombs you out of nowhere. Freaking goo ghouls. It's funny, these guys look so much like these enemies from Chrono Trigger, the, um, the scouts. I would imagine that this guy would really put a crimp in a speed run, so I can understand why you would hate this enemy in particular. The wandering figure eight bats that are almost impossible to avoid. Thankfully, I'm not trying to actually avoid anything. Hitbox is huge? Yeah, I figured. Does this game like use traditional hitboxes, or is it more like the uh, like what Street Fighter Alpha Three does with the um, the polygonal hitboxes? Yeah, 
Yeah, Glenn's great when he actually makes contact. You're not actually sure? I bet you it's polygonal hitboxes, because it's kind of in a 3D space. A lot of people don't know this, but Street Fighter Alpha 3 uh, never should have worked on the PlayStation. And the big thing that they did to make it work and to load quickly was they changed the hitboxes to invisible polygons, because the um, PlayStation is able to render polygons a lot better than sprites. So I got a C charm. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna put this one pointing that way. This is a mini game I like to call Titty Twister. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah, you're, by the way, you're fighting this fucking guy. <laughs> Gee, Dragon Rider. Dragon. Fish, thank you for this host. You is good. <laughs> I figured you'd want to, I, I figured you'd enjoy that one, man. It's the Titty Twister puzzle. Welcome to this stream. Oh, fuck it. Search for blue attacks. This guy's not that tough. Bamo! Way to miss. Way to miss. Fantastic. Blep. Yeah, those, those percentages are lies. Hi. Oh, hi there. Hi, Heesh. Oh, hi. Hey, now. All right. Cool. Good shit. Okay. There's nothing actually there. That was literally just to fight that asshole. This is a location called the Titty Typhoon. Oh, my God. That should have been a strip club, but then again, I guess it would have been too close to that fucking movie uh, from Dust Till Dawn, The Titty Twister. Oh, incorrect. Alright, this will get me out of here. <coughs> God damn it. Oh, but it was a reference. Okay. Titty Typhoon. The Titty Twister. Ba -ba. I think this one's gonna make me fight a boss. This is the blue crystal, yeah. You shall go no further. I am the gelatinous blob from planet Fucula. The nation of Scandonesia. Is this the uh, giant gloop, I think it's called? Yep, giant gloop. Alright, well. Put a little red on field with Kid and uh, just steal from him right away, I think. Oh god, because it is a boss. Gooey goo. As opposed to that goo that isn't gooey. Like, if it's not gooey, how could you really call it goo? Let's be real here. Yoink! Got me an antiviral cap. That would be useful IRL. That is literally a face mask. Wow. Throwback. This is not AOL. We love and hate this. I mean, if you were speedrunning, I would... If I was trying to speedrun this game, I would absolutely detest this part. But as somebody just trying to enjoy the game, I love it. Oh, alright. I didn't really want to be inside of you. That's, uh... Glenn came out of there a changed man. And now he's frozen. Go for it. Smearing it on our chests. You know what? Might be better to defend here. Alright. Iceberg? Oh, fuck yourself. 
That's gonna hurt Kid. She should probably take it, yeah. The problem is, I don't have a lot of healing stuff other than what Glenn has, so... Oh my god, Kid. Surge, really? Hold on. I think I gave him something to heal with. I... Oh, Glenn's unfrozen! He's the one with the healing stuff. I do want to get X-Strike off on this asshole. It's fucking super effective. Here we go! Smearing it on everybody's chests. It's funny how- that was my Adobe Alert, not yours. It's funny how, um, Fire Pillar looks like a burst of magma, and Magma Burst looks like a pillar of fire. Just saying! Well, it hit Kid, but that, that attack- that, wow, that did nothing! I mean, he's weakened, but- oh god. This is bad news, Bears. Ow! Quit it. It's actually down. Yeah, we'll run. Well, we'll try that again. I can't be... I can imagine that, yeah. You... It's like slowing down and enjoying the game, right? Yeah, that was rough. Let's try that again. Glenn getting frozen there really put a crimp in that. Right, let's try that again. <coughs> oh god damn, motherfucking shit. I'm tired of this fucking allergy shit. Alright. X Strike was pretty much a waste of time. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, you missed everybody that time. You didn't even hit in one, not one person. All right, let's play this properly this time. I'm sorry to hear that. I wish you can get the meds that you actually need. Oh fuck! This guy's got high defense, so it's more important to use magic, I think. But the problem is that. I'm not hitting enough to power up the elements, and no! God. You know, next time ask first. All right, and she got frozen, because of course she did. All right, I know what we're doing. We're doing this. Even though she's frozen, we're doing it. Congratulations, with your 12-ass damage. Go for it. That is very bright. Oh, she's not frozen, she's got the flu. Really, you gonna? All right, all right. Well, I definitely got to get some red on the field now. Uh, I think fire pillar would be better because this guy's defense is sky high. Yeah, Glenn's green. You can always tell characters innate when you see when he swings his weapon. How you see like a green trail? It's pretty cool shit. Uh, yeah, whatever. I was trying to push some of this blue off the field. My party's basically the French flag right now. No, no, Italian flag. My bad, Italian flag. It's red, green, white. Oof. Big fucking oof. 
Oh my god. Alright. I have yet to fucking... Well, she had the flu, so that does lower your magic resilience. We'll try it again! I don't remember this guy being this fucking hard. Um... No, not that. I think I know what I want to do, though. Alright, you have a good... Good time at your work. Okay, um... Hold on. That won't help, actually, but... That will. Alright. That iceberg shit is rough, dude. Alright, third time's the charm, right? I don't remember this guy being so fucking difficult. The missing is fantastic. I enjoy the missing. I mean, you're trying to fight a giant glob of snot. You know what? Yeah, don't even don't even build up. Just hit him with stab moves. Nothing physical. No X slash, no fucking red pin. See, that looks like a pillar of fire. Just saying. God damn it, why her? And she's over with the hit points, but... Oh, she's got the flu again. Fucking missing. Fuck, leave Kit alone! Oh my god, dude. Alright, Glenn, you're, you're gonna have to go, because I need to heal. <coughs> hmm. right, it's better than what she had before. Oh wait, just defend. Really? It's the opposite of what I wanted, but alright. That means he's definitely going to do Iceberg soon. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do. This. And then you're not even going to attack. You're just immediately going to use Fireball to push some more of that blue off the field. Get some red up. So hopefully, when he does do it, Kid can survive it. As a matter of fact, if I can get just one attack and then do another fireball, the field will be completely red. He does look weakened, so... Of course, now everybody can attack, but... Yeah, okay, Iceberg with a full red field, this shouldn't be too bad. Even though Kid has the flu. See? how we do it. That... God damn it, Glenn. Are you gonna fuck me, Glenn? Is that what it is? Are you trying to fuck me? Can we go to the Denny's and get some fucking dinner? Because I like to be wine and nine before I get fucked. Oh my god, Glenn, what the fuck? Does he look like a bitch? What does Marcellus Wallace look like? Oh my fucking god, Glenn, is there something wrong with your eyeballs today? Okay. 
if any color other than blue is going to help me here. Because if he does fucking Iceberg right now, I'm fucking bone, so... It's over. Finally, damn. Go to hell. Don't breathe this. Will it blend? That was irritating as fuck. We won, though. Alright, another star. I'm not gonna read it all out. Did Glenn finally... No, he got like a level 6 slot, so he didn't get his tech yet. Got an Aqua Ball element. Alright, that's something. Right, let's see if we can get rid of that flu, though. Medicine. I only have one medicine. So hopefully we won't have to deal with the flu again. Hey, cheese ball. Rolling on in. What's going on? The flu doesn't fly with me? Yeah. Well, if anything, I could actually leave the dungeon, go to a town, buy up more stuff, and come back. It would be no big deal to do that. I just don't want to do that. You need every game to have the mantras. Oh god, the mantra system's so cool. No, oh, it did pretty good. I need some Chrono Crushes. Beat a really annoying boss, the, the giant gloop. It took me several shots to get him without anybody dying, because... I kept getting very unlucky. Even in that last battle, I was very unlucky with Glenn not hitting the character. Oh, no, really? No. I I guess I should hear about this in another stream. Was it a female streamer? All right. Yeah, definitely want to fight some enemies here. It was not a female streamer, so he wasn't being thirsty. There's a change. That's, uh, well, at least it was just in somebody's stream, like, happenstance, two ships passing in the night thing, and he wasn't stalking you. Or was he stalking you? Ah! Fuck out of here. Just unleash on these bitches with this. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him either, to be honest. It sounds coincidental, but... I don't know, knowing Chris as long as I had known him... I wouldn't put it past him. By the way, to the developers of Treasure of the Rudras, you see that little shield thing? Attached to Glenn's elbow? That's a buckler. There's no reason you can't use a buckler and a two-handed sword at the same time, because it straps to your friggin' elbow. Just saying. Oh, so it does sound like he was hoping to... Did he say anything to you, or...? That's just... I don't know, it sounds gross. Hey, good shot, but so far up his ass be singing Christmas songs with it. He tried engaging Convo a lot. Okay, yeah, he's being a creeper. What a fucking asshole. By the way, speaking of that particular... Uh, this intimated you? Sorry that we intimated you now. Like nothing ever happened? Piece of shit. I was friends with him for 11 years and he acts like that. Anyway, speaking of that particular person, uh, if you look at my recent streams, uh, not recent clips, Cheese Ball, I think it was from Monday, it should be, like if you look at my clips and if you set it to like seven days, you should be able to see it. There's one called Chris's Legacy 2. I think you'd appreciate that one. It should be from like uh, Real Bout Fatal Fury 2, you know? Actually, it's in my intro. Have you seen the intro? Have you seen the new intro? Because it is in there. <coughs> you have not? All right, hold on, guys. We're going to play the new intro for Cheese Ball. Give me one second. Joy to the world, the teacher's dead. dead. We barbecued her head. He's probably, like, on Bing right now, because you know none of them use Google. They use Bing, because they're like, oh, Bing, Google is a uh, commie. And he's, like, Google... Well, he's binging Greta Thunberg feet. Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow... Wow, that's impossible. Red... Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow... 
red, yellow. No. Jesus, Noun, how did you know that that was, like, impossible to say? All right, we're a couple of tits right here. Look at this shit. We're a couple of tits. No! The first word spoken in human history was love, yeah. And then he fucking laughs like Muttley. <laughs> the end, motherfucker. Hold on. <coughs> I underestimated the power of soup. Watch me die now and believe it later. Meow 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 Once a month if you put a mite all under your pillow, the Easter bunny comes down the chimney and stocks your bathroom with feminine hygiene products. I'm failing hard. Let me uh try to fail less hard. Like I can't not fail at all, but let me try to Never mind. The audience has decided that I have diarrhea in my butthole. We can't figure this out. There's some sort of barrier. There's there's flowers in the way. We can see you, Randy, but we can't reach you. Hamburger helper. He's like, I like fire. I'm sexually attracted to it. Fuck off. Fuck off with the puns, Neil Corlett. Holy shit. Have it, yeah, exactly. Have every shut up ever. All the shut ups. Just, just put them inside of you somehow. Take that sausage and put it up so far up your ass, you'll sing Christmas songs with it. Oh, yes. Oh, me like it. I'm a bad, bad golem. Oh, punish me, Nathan Grays. Oh. Think you can intimate at me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Earlier you had to deal with it. Dogie is sexually attracted to fire. It's true. Welcome back to Tommy. I was just playing the new intro for uh, Cheese. She hadn't seen it yet. Alright. Oh! Yeah, I wanna fight. Come on, I just friggin' like leveled up. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, he's over there now. Come here, you paper tiger bitch. Let me go Carol Baskin on your ass. Alright. References to things I haven't actually seen. Alright. Paper boy. Paper boy calls it quits. Uh. Wait, 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 what are these guys? These are black, I think? Hold on, let me check. Oh, they're yellow. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna use Luminary either way. It doesn't matter. Yeet! Bathe in the healing light of Surge's cock. Glenn's gonna absolutely annihilate this guy. Alpha capsules. Okay, cool. Good shit. So, cheese. Have you ever played Chrono Cross? Just out of curiosity. Come over here, you. Oh. There we go. You don't ever get far. <laughs> no, sir. Have you played Chrono Trigger? Not in a while. Ah, yeah. This is the sequel. It's not as connected as some people wanted it to be, but you know, I think it's a great game. So, I actually like this one slightly more, but that's me because I'm weird. I'm all into battle mechanics and shit. Get the fuck out of here! Wow, that actually didn't kill him. Poke you. You're not gonna like this very much. Yo! He's styling on these bitches. Styling on these bitches. You saw that? Styled on them. Wow, I'm capped already? That didn't take long. Okay, wait, let me just look up here, see if there's anything I missed. Oh, that leads that way. Let me check it out. This part's kind of a maze anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, let me go back the other way then. The other way leads like a treasure chest or something. 
It's a good thing the enemies mostly say dead when you uh, kill them here. You don't have to worry about them respawning constantly. Yeah, there is a treasure down there. Okay. I gotta go through the life meter from uh, Last Ninja. Do you remember that old PC game? Does anybody remember the Last Ninja? It was a really shitty PC game. Trap Tornado. If I run into anybody that can actually use a tornado element, that would be useful. The last boss likes to open with tornado. <coughs> Merry Fishmas! Thank you for the 30 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. Hello there, Merry Fishmas! The title sounds familiar, but remember literally nothing about it. Wait, yeah, get over here. Oh, 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 he coming. Let me go down here and look. Thank you so much for them bitties, though. Arrow Blaster! Wait, wait. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't need to fight. Oh, wait. Arrow Blaster's really good. Hold on. Let me give that to Glenn. He doesn't have the greatest magic stat, but... That's like the first... Ah, uh, fucking shit. That's the first Arrow Blaster element I've run into. Uh... Take a magma burst. Everybody else has magma burst. I do want to fight as many of these robots as I can because they do drop screws, which is kind of a rare crafting material. You don't run into screws. Although, usually I just take helmets apart to get them. It's one of the most annoying things to get is screws. Human ass! Faith in the healing light of my cock! But it wonders why I say that when I use Luminaire. It's because if you look at Surge as he goes, he kind of does like a pelvic thrust right before the spell comes out. Like he goes up in the, and then he's like thrusts his pelvis outwards. And all this light spills out and you're like, okay, that's fucking weird. Arrow Blaster. Heat! Now we know where his magic wand is. That's hella real. It's funny that I got Arrow Blaster before I found a Bush Basher element. It's weird how this game is. I think I had like one Bush Basher that I found in like the swamp or some shit. Seems like a really uncommon element. I'll finish you off with Arrow Saucer. Got a screw! Ladies! Ah, uh, yes, this way. We'll go this way. Ba -ba. Oh, that guy just kinda came out of nowhere. I don't mind it, but he just kinda like dropped in unexpected. It's like a sitcom character just walks into your house and you're like, excuse me, you need to call first. Paper hey, Moon? I remember that movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, Kramer just walks in. That actually did a lot... Well, yeah, he's green and eight, so that makes sense that that did a lot of damage. Search, what the fuck, dude? God damn it, I was gonna do Luminera, but now I didn't have enough juice to do it. Fuck out of here. Remember that time that Jerry, like, locked his door, and you just hear, like, Kramer just slam into it, like, He's like, Jerry, the door is locked. He's like, I know, because I locked it. I bet you can one-shot one of these guys with Arrow Blaster, though. Oh, close to it. Character with a higher magic stat might have been able to do it. I'm gonna curse the Kramer from now whenever a random encounter annoys you. Oh no, that's gonna murder him. I mean, it's okay because everybody's capped, but... Oh, he survived it! Probably because all the green I have on the field right now. Um, wait, Red Pin hits everybody, right? 
The idea was to use Magma Bomb, but this is this is better. Daggers! Hmm. So cheese, and I'm sorry, if if you're if you're uncomfortable with the line of questioning, say so, and I'll drop it. But I was just wondering, like, what kind of things was he asking you? All right, I got back as many capsules as I use there. If somebody drops in unexpectedly in a game, and you're like, God damn it, Kramer! At least text me. All right, this way. And we're almost at the end here of this part. Then there's stuff to get on the way back. Big robot. Um, this will be fine. Oh yeah, she might she might have gone. That's okay. That's fine. I'm glad she popped in. She gave some bits. She informed me that someone's still active again. So that actually kind of answers a question that I had. I was wondering if he actually had Torsoy, if he actually had uh, access to his account because the way it got. Body press. Oh god, Glenn is not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna take any damage from that. I was wondering if he actually had access to his Twitch account or somebody else, like, it hacked him or some shit, you know? Not in my Christian Minecraft server! Bop! You really, heal all. You're dope. Got some fucking defense. All right. Bop. Oh, he's gonna counter yellow elements with that, isn't he? All right, no more yellows. And that does a lot of damage. No more yellows. Oh, that actually gives me an excuse to use this. Yoink! Trap Tornado? I really don't need that. So I'll have to use neutral elements like red or blue or white. White. Black would work too. I don't have a lot of black. See, look at these nuts! Ha! Gani! This guy's magic defense ain't shit either, so. Backdrop. There's all these wrestling moves. Why do you keep attacking Glenn? He literally resists your moves and has high defense. Dumb fuck. Alright. Um, he would counter Electro Bolts. We'll do Meteorite. <laughs> Don't tell him that! <laughs> Pillar. Red Pin probably would do less because he seems to have pretty high physical defense. Not bad. You're a snack buff. Choke Slam. What is this? Kazarath Wrestling? Ow. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. It's unfortunate that you can't hit this guy with his weakness, but he seems weakened already, so I don't think he's got a whole lot left. Not much gas in the trunk. I am going to use a healing element right here just to be on the safe side. Thankfully I didn't bring anybody that would be weak to this asshole. All right, uh, we'll do Magma Burst. Heat up his crotch. Is it over? Oh no, he's just walking over to Surge very slowly. I step on you. I step on you again. And I go back over here. Yes. 
Hello! Wow, you're still standing, huh? You're like Elton John up in here. Oh, no, 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 do not do that. That would be bad. Uh, uh Graviton. <coughs> Is it over? Yeah, he's done. Ah, uh, bad pie. Ugh. He'll go down. You can feel it coming in the air tonight. <laughs> oh, no. He'll go down tonight, tonight, tonight. All right, 17 stars. Listen, Glenn's not getting a whole lot of grid ship. That's okay. He's mostly physical. And I got a carapace. All right, that's the green one. There's a couple of treasure chests to get on the way out, though. But... I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Yeah, literally, it's just those two treasure chests. Oh, and that one. Okay. There's three of them. It is a great song. People who sleep on S Phil Collins are missing out on some good music. Excuse me, sir. I have a special message. Who is it from? These nuts! Ha! Got him! You love Phil Collins? I love Phil Collins. He's so great. It's just another day in paradise for you and me. Something happened on the way to heaven. Ow! Quit it. Really? Remember, remember that South Park now where they made fun of Phil Collins and they It's like, this is my new song. It's called You'll Be In Me. <laughs> they were so pissed off that they lost the Oscar to him. Yeah, do that. <coughs> yeah. Good night, sleep tight, you wipe. Meow, 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 meow. Honk, 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 honk. And I got more screw. More screw for the mill. Oh, wait, no, I, I had taken the lower path last time. That's why I didn't get those other treasures. It's like the upper path this time. Because there's two ways to get to the boss. I took the lower path, and I'll just go through the upper path just to get the treasures I missed. It's good, son! Arg, I'm angry, I will shake my fists at you. I wish it would rain down, down on me. Oh, I wish it would rain down. You kinda hate how relevant Another Day in Paradise still is? Yeah. Oh, really, did? Really? Susu Studio. All right, well, I guess I'm not doing what I planned on doing there. Get fucked. Hey, this guy's got, like, all the defense in the world, so that's why I really wanted to use Luminaire. Erg, I'm angry. Good night. Erg. Oh, fucking missing! Damn it, I'll do this. I was gonna do red pin, but. But she had to miss. Is this robot still there? 
Nash? I don't think I've ever seen this. Alright, alright, that's her freaking belly. What are you doing? Sir, this is a Burger King drive through And oh, I got an eyeball. Also, take this motherfucker's eyeball with me. All right. Oh, hello. Grab this. Heal all. Nice. Grab that. Bush basher. Okay, I do have open slots. Let's uh, let's use that. All right. I think this would be a good spot for heal all, to be honest. Actually, no. Hold on. Put it here. And, uh, yeah, that's a lot better. And then here I'll put... I, I mean, uh, actually, wait. Um, bushwhacker, probably. If I have one. I do not. Graviton, maybe? Search found it. No one else found it. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, you have a slot all the way fucking over here. So you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna move this over there. And then here we'll put a photon beam. And for you. Oh, you have a three spot? That's that's gonna be good for Bush Basher, actually. And over here I'll put Cure would be a good one, I think. Actually, no, I don't want to give you Cure. You would be weak at using that. I want to give you, like, Aqua Beam. Alright, guys. Alright, I'm going to take a very brief... Oh! Sorry about that. He did cut the mic. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. Go, go to your place, Gibbs. The gunny. I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Go to your place! Hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, when he jumped on me, he pulled the, the the wire out of the mic. I mean, it's just a one of those square USB things, so it's the kind that slides in and out real easy, so it doesn't damage or anything. Dog hype, yep. What's up, chair? I'm back. And then Gunny was being a a dick, so okay. How's it going? All right, there's like one more treasure chest to get. And I believe it should be as easy as just... Actually, no. I know how to get it. I'll go up here. 
<clears throat> now we get the hell out of this part of the dungeon. Oh, okay. Like, I say I gotta go to the bathroom, even before I said I gotta go to the bathroom, as soon as I take my headphones off, he starts jumping all over the place, getting all excited and moaning and shit. And as soon as I open the door, Gunny's trying to rush in. And I'm like, I don't know what's so fucking exciting about me having to pee. But y'all need to calm your ass down. A special message from... These Nuts! Exactly, yeah. Get out of here, paper dude. You are a dixer. I think I might be capped already. That's okay, I want the treasures. This should bring me right to that one that I saw. Yep. All that for an antidote, really? Oh, so, oh, the mantras for Treasure of the Rooters put in Gibbs and Gunny? That would be interesting. It would be interesting to see what kind of effects you get from the Gunny and the Gibbs. Wait, not that way. Gibbs and the Gunny. I'll have to try that next Thursday. You have limited spaces in your um, spell book, so and taint, yeah. So some of them, like like when I find like really good spells, I'll be replacing some of the more jokier ones. But, all right, here we go. Taint kick. <laughs> taint kick. Well, taint kick would be like yeet shot, right? You guys will just have to remind me of them. But watch Keep Your Faces North as we defend the fort. Um, alright, so let's try... I want to go up, so that would be east. Shit! Alright. Good shit. I really don't have any particular urge to fight these guys since I'm capped. Is there nothing else here? Nothing else here, okay. So basically to solve this puzzle to go in, you know, whatever area you want to go, you basically have to think of this, the way the statue's facing is north. It's pretty easy once you, once you realize that, it's all figured out. I know which way I'm supposed to go, but I want to make sure that I go to all four directions to get all the treasures and shit. There was obviously none there. Okay, so now he's facing that way. So I want to go to the left this time, so that'll be, uh, that'll be, that'll be west. Oh, I want to get off! Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Alright, good shit. Your body seems to be brimming with energy. Wonderful. So that, that didn't help much. Oh wait, we were brimming with energy now. I think it's just a heal point. Those handhelds are way too far apart, I'm just saying. Alright, so I'm gonna select south. That should put me over on the right side. Ah, fuck. It's a good thing falling... Oh, that actually brings me to the boss. Or, well, I don't think there's a boss in this one, but I'll hit it. Yeah, there's no boss this time. 
Alright, so we've got four of the six colors lit up. Yeah, now, could you possibly, and you, you don't have to, but it would be a big help for me, could you, like, make, like, have, like, a text while we write down, like, some of these suggestions for mantras? So that when I do stream, the next time I stream Treasure of the Rudras, I, I like, have the list, and we could try them out. Because I, as much as I'm enjoying going through the game, like, so much of the fun is, like, just making up bullshit spells out of funny words and trying them, you know? It's lit in here, yeah? Alright, so there's one more to do just to get treasure chests, so let's do that. Yeah, like Gunny, Gibbs, and Taint, I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, so I want to go down so that, uh, you know, east. Alright. Thank you. Shoo! Yep, yep, yep. I can get those two. Alright, cool. Those three, actually. Ain't shit. Hey, that's another one, yeah. Trap Volcano. Flame Charm. Oh, four treasure chests. Magma Burst. And Fire Pillar. Okay, cool. I think we got to fight the son of a gun pretty soon, which is, you know, kind of a reference to Son of Sun from Chrono Trigger. But, uh, yeah, this... Just, uh, I guess, trigger warning. This is the creepiest motherfucking boss ever. I love that the Kofifi spell, like, shot the word Kofifi at the enemies, and that it actually did, like, pretty decent damage. Let me save before we, uh, continue any further, actually. Cool. There's still two more colors to worry about. There's the white one right here, but we're gonna have to fight this fucking creepy bastard. Ugh, I hate this enemy. And unfortunately, I didn't bring anybody that can really damage it too much, but we're just gonna have to do it the slow way. Ugh, so this is son of a gun. Now, he's white innate. So, black is our best bet. Ah! Leave my face alone. Just fucking hit him with a gravity blow, I guess. This guy's death animation is always giving me the heebie-jeebies. That did nothing. Wow, his magic defense is way the fuck high. Glenn, you had one job. Oh god, no, not kissy wissy. Well, at least you missed, but it was still creepy. Low change. Alright, sad face. Ugh. Congratulations, you hit him once. Flammo. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this boss for that reason. His magic defense is way high. His defense in general is high. Anti-black. That's fine, I guess. I'm just gonna have to use neutrals, I think. Let's... You know what? Let's try stealing from him. Is that going... Oh, that was Bush Basher. That was my bad. I pressed the wrong direction. I don't think this guy has a lot of hit points, but... It's just... Ugh. Get off my screen. Oh, boy. That sucks. Well, actually, there's nobody that's going to hurt too badly. Yeah, it's not so bad. Glenn's got some sort of status on him. Alright, happy face. Let's do this. Like, the Son of Sun... Was a cool boss. This guy, 
This guy sucks. Wait, what is he? Oh, oh he's fatigued. That really is not good. He's upheaval. I'm just gonna use whatever I can, to be honest. <laughs> he used Stone Edge. I didn't even see what damage damage it did, though. The damage number was in a weird spot or something. Alright, that's acceptable. You can do that shit. Just don't do anything with your mouth. 11? That's barely any... Oh, you know what it is? It's a terrifying Solra. Yeah. Wait, what status do you have? Oh, he's, he's blocked out of black is what it is. Alright. God damn it, you can't keep missing! Let's do this. I hate this boss so much with every ounce of my body. Kiss. Oh no. Please don't. Oh, that was my special area. Mode change. I think he's also fatigued now, so that's shitty. Uh, let's do... We don't have a whole lot of options here. Let's do this. It's Soul Rock from one of those really edgy Pokemon ROM hacks. He's weakened, though, so that's good. He doesn't have a whole lot of hit points, so... Weak-minded. Fuck, she was just about to use a magic spell, too. Oh, magic defense. Never mind. Okay. Fuck, I'm doing red pin. Nice damage, okay. Oh, Surge can't attack at all? I don't even- I don't even know- a strong mind. I don't even know what status he has. I thought it was fatigue, but apparently not. And he's changing modes. It's going to be the- well, it's the weakened face no matter what, because this guy doesn't have a whole lot of hit points left. Is he done? No. Here we go. This might finish it. No, not a lot of damage. Shit. Well, he does have strong mind up, so... Surge is just completely immobile. Oh, it's over! Alright, avert your eyes, because this is terrifying. Ugh. Oh, God. Can you just not? Creepy bastard. Why does that thing exist? There's no reason that guy should exist. Who made that? Like, who's responsible for that thing's existence? Alright. Good shit. And I got an iron. Now you're afraid of boxes of raisin bran? Well, raisins are haunted anyway, so... <laughs> Life is always better with two scoops of raisins. Ooh. So that was the, uh, the white. So all we have left is the black. Okay, so for those of you that were here from the very first Chrono Cross stream, check this shit out. Oh, wait, let me go up first. Actually, no, I don't... I think I just want to go up. Going down is, uh, later. Yeah, check it out! Does this look familiar to you? So we're finally at that point in the game that the beginning had us try out. Alright, so this is not the right way to go, but you can see the... Uh, needs more Nikki. Yeah, that's true. We have Glenn instead. So that's where the black thing is. Also, the dialogue that you get in the beginning doesn't happen here for some reason, but whatever. But yeah, we're going to go through that whole part that we went through in the very beginning of the game and that flash forward. Except the enemies are different. Capsule! Come at me, bro. <coughs> I mean, I could probably put Nikki in the group if I go to a save point and swap, but I'd ra much rather use Glenn. Alright, 
Alright, Acacia Privates and Alpha Bats. Alright. Did he just attack the bat? Why would you do that? He's not even confused. He's just, I don't like this bat. Stare at those privates. Should take out the bats pretty easily. A special message from my dick. God. Just wipe them the fuck out. Fuck out of here. Yo, you're dead. Alright, Surge gets a health. Glenn gets a health. And got two low res and a gravity blow. Nothing all that interesting. Alright. Sup? Sup, motherfucker? Another dragoon! Huh. Eat it. I'm angry with you. There we go. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Just do this. You guys weakened anyway. Hello! Sonic Boom. Wow, way to not hit anybody. Wow, that last three damage really mattered. <laughs> it actually mattered! This out. Alright. <coughs> ah, God, fucking son of a bitch, damn it, ass. Come on, motherfucker. It's a cliff racer. I mean, it's a combat, but I'm gonna call a bitch cliff racer. Incoming message from the big giant head. Wah. Dead. We have a very we have two more boss battles to fight in this place. Uh, both of them are kind of tough, but the one that's coming up, the yeah, this, it's just two major ones. We'll just put you that way. And they're both kind of not the easiest things. Alright, Meteor Shower! Fucking finally! Alright. Let's equip that to, to Surge immediately. Oh, that's that's not equip, as in allocate. Not equip! I'd actually like to put that there. Poke my head in here. I should bring her right to a treasure, I think. Yep. Angel Charm! Angel Soft. For your butthole. Bunyips of pain, yeah. Well, hey there, Knights of Vegas. What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. My name's NecroVMX. I stream every day. A wide variety of games. Demon Charm. Alright, now nah, I'm good. I need to fight you. Today is Chrono Cross, obviously. Uh, we have a Discord if you're interested in joining. I'm sure somebody will put a link. There we go. Doing pretty good. Always having fun when I'm playing this game. Here's the bunyip. If you join the Discord, only good things happen. Alright. 
is this son of a bitch. This is not nearly as creepy as the last boss, but you think he's supposed to be the black innate boss, but for some reason he's red. There's a reason for that. A very Final Fantasy IV type of reason. You guys know Final Fantasy IV, you know what I'm talking about. Your favorite game? Wow, it's it's up there for me. It's one of my, it's definitely my Okay, it's my second favorite RPG on the PlayStation 1. And I only say second favorite because Final Fantasy Tactics exists. This is really the warm-up battle here. Yo! Damn, Glenn, you have to do him like that! I, I mean, I ain't complaining, but damn, Glenn, damn. I love those emotes you got there. Alright, here we go. Grrrrg! He's T-posing. Alright, this is the real battle. And now he's black and eight. So now he can go with the white elements. So we just gotta really make sure that Surge doesn't get too fucked up here. Oh, a Google Doc! That's a good idea! Thank you for that, man. You know what's funny, Knights? We literally just had another person in here who's also a speedrunner for this game. Let's see if you know the name. Uh, I gotta scroll up a bit on my chat here. It was... Uh, God, that was a lot. Super Handy. Do you know Super Handy? He was in here earlier. And he said he was a speedrunner for Chrono Cross. So that that's one hell of a kawinky dink, huh? Try and build it up properly here. Pew, pew. Yeah, he was in here earlier. Gave me a follow and everything. Really cool dude. We talked about mechanics a little bit. I'm no speedrunner, but I do love this game. Graviton. Okay, that's not so bad. Especially since, for some reason, the enemies can concentrate Graviton on one character. Glenn, what is with you? You just not do that? Yeah, he left us. He had to go to work, but he's, he left us on a lurk. Pew pew! I'm definitely no speedrunner, but I, I just I just have fun with games. I seem to attract speedrunners. Like I met Cheeseball, who's a speedrunner, when I was playing Zelda 2 randomly one day, and she came by and she's like, Oh, I'm a Zelda 2 speedrunner. And I'm like, That's fucking cool. Oh boy. Because I'm free! Free fallen. Ah, fuck. That was actually pretty good damage. I'm going to have to heal her right now. Do that Tom Petty shit to me. Eh, it could have been better. Whatever. There we go. All right, meteorite. Get fucked. GF. Defend. Devil Thunder. Oh dear. I'm looking around for people who ain't shit. Well, I know who's using recover all. You, baby. You. <coughs> I should try to steal from this asshole, too, now that he's in his second phase. And Kid's getting a turn right here. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like you. Now, why am I going that way? Yoink! Uh, free fall, nice. We can do the Tom Petty thing. Alright, you know what? I think it's time to start cutting loose. Enough setup. Surge literally uses Meteor, like from Final Fantasy. 
It's a twin cast meteor, apparently. Good damage. Oh, shit. Oh, it's over? Wow, I didn't even know it was that close. Bad pie. That was a lot easier than I remember it being. The fucking gloop was harder than I remember it being, and, and Bunyip is easier than I remember it being. Go figure. Alright, that's 19 stars. All this cool shit happened. I think Glenn finally got his level 5 tack. And I gotta grab a ton. Alright. I can hit this. Hold up. Come on, hit that shit. Come on, hit it. Come on, hit that shit. All the Dergs are united. By our powers combined, we shall summon Captain Planet. Which is actually not that far away from the actual plot of this game. So now we have to just get to the middle. Dude, leave me alone. Yeet! Whop, whop, whop. Too fucking cool. Here we go. We're gonna have a little cutscene, though. Boy, we keep seeing that scene. I wonder why. <laughs> so, um... A lot of story stuff about to happen. A lot of it. It's gonna basically change the way the whole game works for quite a while. Yeah, it's not ominous at all. Come on, mate. There's the dragon tier. Hey, General Viper, what's good? Finally, we've been expecting you. I have nothing personal against you, but anyone who hinders our plan must be eliminated. I'm rather sorry about that. General, what is going on here? Glenn, this need not concern you. One day you will understand. Now we gotta fight Viper. He's not particularly tough. I think he's yellow in eight, so Glenn should be able to do a lot of damage. I probably want to lead with Glenn, actually. Okay, for some warming up first, eh? Then come now, lads, I will take you on. Yep, yellow. Okay. Oh! Just kick me right in the fucking face, why don't you? Yeah. Oh, come on, Glenn. What the actual fuck? Like, what the shit, dude? What are you even doing? Glenn, like, you had one job, exactly. G-Force! You just put that sword right in my dick. Unpleasant. Like I said, he's, he's not a tough one, though. Like when he said it's a warm-up battle, he wasn't kidding. <coughs> Alright, Surge. Get out of here. You bother me. Yeah, do that. I was trying to set up Glenn to really just do a shitload of damage, but... Him missing like that really put a fucking pin in what I was trying to do. I wanted to get the field to be all green, and then he would be, you know, ready to use Aero Blaster. But he's only got freaking two levels right now. So, my best bet is to try to use Dash and Gash instead. 
That's good damage, though. I ain't gonna lie. He's already weakened, so we can cut loose here. Keep the field green if I can. Air Force. I ain't gonna do a lot of damage, even if he does it to Glenn. I mean, he did to everybody, but still, yeah, nah, not a problem. It's over. Ha ha ha. Channel is like, hey, this is actually fun. That's 20 stars. Got a Dragoon Gauntlet. What the fuck ever. I love dying. Ha ha ha. You are a worthy opponent. But let us see how you do now. I shall give it my all. No, not really. Lynx! You traitor! You were extremely useful in helping me make my way around these islands. I appreciate your help, General. However, I no longer have any need for you. This fort shall serve as a fine grave marker for you and your dragoons. May you rest in peace. Damn, forgive me, Riddell. Now, let this be your final resting place as well. Come on, Lynx, you're going down. Scripted Battle Ahoy! I don't think any amount of battering him can actually win this unless you're on New Game Plus, and even then, it scripts you to lose, so... Not concerned with it, really. Glide hook. Meteor! Ten times meteor! Or actually, am I supposed to win this? Now that I think about it. I think you're supposed to lose, but I'm, I'm gonna just kick his ass anyway. Yeah, that damage is ridiculous. <coughs> Yeet! Aqua Beam? Why are you bothering with Aqua Beam? Just do feral cats. What are you fucking doing, dude? Lynx, what the fuck? He's weakened. I think I am supposed to win this, actually. But I, I don't know, I forget how it actually works. I know it's a scripted battle. Miss me. Ow. Oh, wait a minute. It's the battle right after this that's scripted. I remember now. Yeah, it's over already. Okay, yeah, it's the, it's, it is a battle right after this that's scripted. I just remembered it. Alright, good shit. Pendragon Sigil B is kind of a big fat sack or whatever. You're more trouble than I thought. But do you really think your skills are superior to mine? Sore loser. Search, have you ever questioned who you really are? Serge? What has been the significance of your existence up until now? On that ominous day ten years ago, the boundary of space and time was torn and part of me, in fact, died. So it's gone back to show when he was attacked by the panther demon. Okay. 
Kitty cat. Wakanda fucking forever. You cannot defeat me, Surge. This is because denying me is the same as erasing your very existence. Don't be taken in by his rubbish, Serge. This guy's full of it. Huh. We'll see about that. There are two sides to every coin. Life and death. Love and hate. These are all the same. What'd you say? Talk some sense, will you? You have a mini panther on your... You get your void, right? Shit is happening. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yes, I'm enjoying this. So it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty confusing here, but well, you guys will see. Shit's about to go down. Sesh, what's wrong? Lynx, what have you done to Sesh? Sesh, you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Ah, <gasps> Sarge talks. I'm just fine, kid. Now, if you notice, when I moved, Lynx moved. I'm actually controlling Lynx now. What are you doing, Lynx? Now's your chance, kid. Kill him. Yeah. Oh no. This is the <coughs> Relax, dude. Don't mansplain the game. His profile <coughs> is a silent protagonist, exactly. Uh, excuse you, can you knock it off? This is the end of you, Lynx. Say your prayers. <coughs> Shut up, dude. Here we go. And I'm controlling Lynx. And we're fighting Surge, Kid, and Glenn. You absolutely can't win this. This is the scripted battle. Even if you're on New Game Plus and you completely overpower them, you're scripted to lose this. But I can show off some cool shit like Feral Cats. Check it out. I love this fucking attack. Ow. Ugh. No, my body. Ah, fuck. Yeah, crap. Ooh. And it's over. Yeah, Glenn hits one of that control you, right? <coughs> I mean, he's still like a top tier character, so. You did it, kid. Yeah. Now finish him. What's wrong? Settle it once and for all. Here, hand me your dagger, I'll finish him off. Why don't you just take that? Watch this, kid. I'll avenge Luca for you. Die, Lynx. Wait! What, kid? He's your foe, isn't he? How do you know Luca's name? What are you talking about, kid? Not once. Did I ever mention Luca's name to you, Serge? No. Don't tell me you're... Oh, that's unfortunate. Now you know why we kept seeing that.
search. Why? Quiet. So, search still is a silent protagonist. It's Lynx talking. This is the end of the road for you, kid. You're Lynx, aren't you? <laughs> I'll send you to see Luca. I'll finish you off later. Look at yourself, Serge. I mean, Lynx. <laughs> Excellent. The enmity is growing. The only thing pure in this world is enmity. Well then, the time has come for the curtain to fall. Your services are no longer needed. Even your very existence is worthless. Farewell, Serge. Finally, I have the key. The key to the gate of fate. The time has come for the frozen flame to awaken. Come to the Sea of Eden, Surge, should you wish to end your dream of ten years ago. Now let love bleed, darker and deeper than the seas of hell. <laughs> Well, that happened. That certainly happened. It was a thing. Yep. I'm just keeping my feet warm. It's a little chilly in here today. All this imagery passing by, too. So, we're now controlling Lynx, or more realistically, we are controlling Surge, who is trapped in Lynx's body, as Lynx has taken over our body. And there's a reason that Lynx wants Surge's body specifically, because Surge is the Chrono Trigger. But, uh, yeah. For the foreseeable future, we'll be taking control of our good friend Lynx. Uh, the unfortunate part is you don't have access to any, and I do mean any, of the um, characters that we had before, so we'll have to build up the party again. Let me, uh... Ah, oh, yeah, he's got no elements. Alright. Alright, let's see... Put that there... That there... There... Suddenly I'm in a Van Gogh painting. It does look like a Van Gogh painting. You ain't, you ain't wrong. Ain't no lie there. I know I can do this auto, but I find that to be not very fun. might be useful at this point, actually. And, uh, yeah. No, not that. Um, I guess I'll put Elsol on there. It's not super useful, but there you go. And just to show his status, Lynx, the feline demi-human. Oh yeah, we're actually trapped in a place known as a temporal vortex. And we'll be working our way out of here. I don't really need to heal, but I figure I will. You can see there's a save point right there. Oh, I gotta get that rock out of the way. Can I just push it? No, I can't. I know there's a way to move that rock. Maybe 
maybe by going up this way? Not really, no. Alright. I'm not gonna make a huge shit deal out of it, but... I like, I mean, I'm gonna need these. We should start getting mithril soon to make the next tier of weapon. I'm oh, probably through here, right? Yeah. Hmm. I know there's a fucking way to- Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of it. It has something to do with the fruit. Here real quick. Yes. Okay. It is pretty. It, I mean, you know, what EB said with Van Gogh painting is not that far off. Oh, hey, what are you doing in my house? Hmm. I'll forget you for another wandering spirit. How many years has it been since a physical being wandered into this world? Very strange indeed. Rightly so. The world is controlled by chance and chaos. Anything can happen as quick as a whip. Nobody knows. Something you have today may be gone tomorrow. Just like this berry I'm holding. Important stuff. Irreplaceable stuff. All these may come to harm with superlative ease. I mean, what's frightening is there'll be absolutely no meaning to what happens in our daily lives. Meaning is non-existent. No matter what's born, lost, or changed, it's beyond calculation. There'd be no one or nothing watching over you. Such is life. Wow, Sprig's been, uh, she's been going after those Funyuns, huh? I'm going to bed. I suggest you rest up too. House like ass, ass, ass. What you doing in the ass? Just a second there. Eh? I give you a place to sleep, and you're leaving without a word of thanks. You? Yeah. I'm coming with you. I have a feeling I can get out of there if I tag along. Besides, you won't be able to make it inside the tower alone. I'll open it for you. Sprig joins your party. Da -da -da -da. She's another black innate, so... And she's got, like, a really, really strange gimmick. But, uh, it's, it's useful for one thing and one thing only, and that's uh, recruiting another character, so... Yeah, I'll show you the status there. So there's Sprig, the lovable old lady. Wait, is she black? I just realized I didn't really even look. Oh, she's green. The other character we're gonna get is black and eight. All right. Can you move this thing out of the way now for me? I swear there's a way to get that rock out of the way. I just don't remember how to do it. Is it from up here somehow? Or? I'm not gonna worry about it that much. It's just it might be a myth, really. Oh, oh, oh. You hit this rock, and that'll hit the other rock. Now I remember. Here we go. Bop. Now I remember. You gotta play rock domino. What are you doing to me, ass? Yeah, you're right now, and that is better. Like, I'm sorry, I was just visiting your ass. I mean, house. There we go. How peaceful is this music, though? <laughs> Revive. Okay. <coughs> I should probably give her a few elements, though. She does have a really small uh, grid, from what I remember. Yeah, Doppelgang is really the only thing going on. Um, I'll give you Graviton, and... Like... Did I put it in eight? There we go. 
put like a arrow saucer here actually. And here I'll put recover all. She doesn't get a lot of elements, so it's it's really just uh, her gimmick of turning into other enemies. Like um, once Sprig just defeats an enemy herself, like if she lands the killing blow, that enemy gets added to her doppelgang list. And she can turn into that enemy during a battle. It's useful to get some strong enemies um, with her doppelgang because that lets you recruit Janus later on. You are très late, no? Come on, Mons Felix, let's go. We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I can't afford to lose you just yet. I'm not Lynx. You are no longer Serge. You are Monsieur Lynx. Allons, regarde toi. Just look at yourself. Who in their right mind is going to believe you are Serge? C'est simple. If everybody, except for yourself, says that you are Monsieur Lynx, then... Voila. You are Monsieur Lynx. It's as simple as that. That is who you are. C'est la réalité. Now, you try and go against the reality. Reality will surely crush you. Reality will kill you. The reality will continue on to go on as if nothing ever happened. From yesterday to today, and from today to tomorrow, reality marches on, leaving your crushed body behind. But I'm Surge. Oh la la. So you still insist that you are Serge, oui? Regarding your memory as the Serge, you may be able to rewrite it if you use the Dragon Tear. In reality, you died 10 years ago in the other world. How can you say for sure this is the real you? Maybe for you it is evident, but I wonder if you ever really were Serge. Furthermore, what was this Serge? A figure? A shape? A spirit? A soul? Where was this Serge? Game gets all existential on you. Who am I? Who are you? You're not me. I'm not you. I'm reality. You are. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Now, open the door to reality only. One mistake, and you'll never make it back to the real world. <laughs> I signed up to beat up monsters and not have an existential crisis. That's real. You just have to match the movements. <laughs> Pretty easy shit. I love Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. How boring. Fine. I understand how you feel. Let's head back to reality. How will join your party? She's actually really useful. The only issue is she's the same innate as Lynx, so I probably won't be using her a lot. Let's give her some actual elements. Uh, I'm just gonna auto-allocate for her. So now we're in an MC Escher painting. Uh, I'm gonna hit the switch. Yeah. Oh, I can understand that. If you have that fear, you would not want to see that. Mithril! Alright, so you finally got a piece of Mithril. You definitely want to fight as many of these guys as you can. Um, partly because they're a good enemy for Sprig to doppelgang, but also because um, they drop Mithril from what I remember. Total chaos. Yeah. I'm angry at you! Nah. Hopefully this will kill.
Yep, there we go. So that'll add that enemy to her list of what you can doppelganger. Lynx gets three hit points. Spirit gets three hit points. Hollow gets a hit point. And I got a Graviton element. All right. Grab that. Pendragon Sigil C. Actually, I should look at equipment, actually. I, I think he probably has the same equipment that he, as Surge did, but let me just check. Oh. No accessories, though. I'm glad I looked. All right. Um... Iron Helmet, Dragoon's Honor, and... Uh, Sky Generator. Y you two, I'm not... She, see, they, they have silver weapons, so... I'm not gonna worry about them too much. Not particularly characters that I want to use. Alright. Back this way. This. Grab this guy. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Bop! Sure, why not? Ah, yeah, shit. Be a good opportunity to show off the doppelgang thing. If I could ever get her to hit anybody. Alright, Harl, it's up to you. So Harl, I believe, uses throwing weapons. Oh, wait a miss. Moonbeams. It's not super effective, but... Looks cool. Get fucked. Your mother. Slinks gets three health, and I got some gravitons. And gives me a mithril. Good deal. Down here we go. I'm trying to make sense of this Escher space shit. Come on back, I want to fight you. Gives his ass out right now. I really want to show off the doppelgang thing. There we go. So you just select between enemies that from the list. But as you can see, total chaos is in there. So I'll show you that. Now she'll turn into one. And for the remainder of the battle, she'll be that monster. Which is cool because it basically gives her whatever... And it gives you that monster's abilities and everything. And that monster's innate color. So she's kind of an interesting character. In that sense. I need defense so I can show off that. A clown saved your life. Wow. That's an interesting story that I've not heard. If you're ever interested in telling it. Oh, that's right. They multiply. Harl is like a sexy clown, though. Okay. But notice, yeah, I see Graviton, Seal All, Diminish, Turn Black, Free Fall, Doppelgang, Back, of course. It's a good way to also, like, look at what abilities an enemy actually has. A money order, Jesus. Well, I, I will still be streaming. Until at least four, maybe a little longer, but until at least four. That is really interesting. Uh, let's see if we can do something to finish this guy off. Like this. Wow, you're alive? Okay, that's something. But his status, doesn't it? It's dizzy. That's hilarious. Fuck out of here. I said, fuck out of here, B. What the hell was that? That was a new one on me. Oh, 
Is it that I can't hit it now? Let's just try this. Is he sideways? Yeah, even that miss, Jesus. I usually kill these things so fast they don't get to do anything. Well, maybe like legit magic would actually hit it. Like, uh... You know, fireball. Oh, let me look. Bit of a hiccup on my end, but it seems to be resolved. My text file was in the way, I didn't see that right away. Thank you for pointing that out, though. Yeah, it was a bit of a hiccup on my end. Alright, we're, we're capped, that's good. And I got another Graviton. In case you didn't have enough Gravitons. Alright. Bluey! And that gets us the hell out of here. <coughs> and look at that, we're in Hydra Marsh for some reason. In Homeworld, no less. We are back to reality. Does this place look familiar to you, Monster Lynx? Do you need and want to tell you where we are? No, I already know. Ah, you remember. Then let's leave these forest marshes at once. Ah, oh, yes. We're finally back in the real world. Ah, <coughs> uh, don't do that, dude. Oh, a world with substance. Even the water and air is different. This is great. It's time to party. Let's have a taste to all return to the real world. Listen, old lady, you are not getting any younger. Try to control your emotions. As there is absolutely no time to be partying, we must hurry along. What's your problem, lass? It's been years since I've been back to the real world. You sure are a buzzkill, so why don't we to you now? Ooh, I'm on straight links. You seem worried about that Serge character. Do you still remember? It's a place where it all started. Where angels lose their way. Your bouncy castle offense will be air pump fail. Guy and clown costume can pull you up before you got buried. Oh, cool. That, that good, good guy clown. Hey, Mogul, what's going on? Where angels... Whatever! It has a bird ring to it. So what exactly is it? A gate to another world. Something like that. What? Are you saying there's another dimension distortion in this world? <laughs> Very interesting indeed. So where's this place? Is that up to Monsway Leagues? Let's just get going. But first, we must leave this forest. What the? It disappeared. What's going on? Don't worry about it. Alright. So we haven't really explored this place in Homeworld all that much, so now's the time to do it. Bone! Yeah, I definitely didn't need that. To be honest, I don't really need to even be here at all. Bone! It's a boner! Slept in today? Nice. I wish I could do that every once in a while. There's a treasure chest there. I might as well go grab it. There's very shitty treasures here, but whatever. A feather. Yeah, that's what I figured. Something shitty. I try to sleep and Gibbs drops his bone on my face, so, you know. Alright, so we are in Homeworld. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go to Arnie Village first. <coughs> oh! Can you not? Huh? Damn it, humans. What do you monsters want from us? That's racist. Excuse me, Monkisa. What kind of attitude is that? I will kick your dairy out of the moon if you talk to Monster Lynx Commission. Ah, freak! Wow. I see no people from our hometown are racist as fuck. Uh, we need to talk to Radius, though. <coughs> Could you not? <coughs> Notice that Poshal is back there. You're being annoying, Gibbs. You really are. 
Wait, where is Radius? Did I just walk past him? Is that what it was? Hey, I'm a good boy, you foof. He's saying hi to Moogle. I don't see him. I don't talk to demi humans now. Scram! Mm, the record of fate may, may, you know, mentioned me meeting a demi human. No, you must be mistaken. The record of fate never mis makes mistakes. Okay, where the fuck is Radius, or am I thinking of another world? No, but he should be here in this village. Who oh, or what are you? What do you want? What? No way. You're Sergi? You. Give me a break. Our Sergi is human. Read my lips. You man. He's not a demi-human like you. You're full of it. Well, what shall you do, Mons Felix? Nobody in your village believes that you are Serge. Of course we don't believe you. Everyone in this village knows Sergi. You're not going to be fooled by a bunch of demi-humans like you. I don't know what your jokers are up to, but just get the hell out of our village. Jeez, build that wall, why don't you? Alright. I was going to say. I know i got to find Radius. I just don't remember how to trigger that. Yippee! Whoops. Nah! Who are you? <laughs> We're currently a furry. What? Surge? No. That's a lie. What the heck is going on? I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. How am I supposed to believe you're Surge when you look like that? I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I might actually be able to really fuck with her here. Uh... Would this help? No, I don't think so. Nothing you show me will change my mind. Sorry. No. Surge is a secret furry. His first son is a, is a panther. Maybe I should go to Surge's house. I'm trying to remember how to find Radius, because he's around here somewhere. Boom. Hey, what's up, moms? Oh my. A demi-human in our village? I strongly advise you to be on your guard. The village folks don't take too kindly to demi-humans. They took your jibs! Dirk, dirt, took your jibs! We'll take a rest, though. <coughs> Bloody hell. I know that I absolutely have to find Radius. I just don't remember where he's gotten off to. Like, it wouldn't be in another world, would it? Because in another world, he's not the... The chief here. Chief Radius has been acting strange lately. He stares out towards Termina with thought-filled eyes. Actually, he gets like this every year at this time. Maybe it has something to do with the Viper Festival. Yeah, but where is he? Is he over here? He's not. Well, well, this is unusual. What business does a demi human like you have with the Chief? The Chief isn't here. He said he was going out for a stroll. Enough. Maybe I should try to leave? I don't know. I seem to remember him being right here. And you have to fight him here. Hmm. Alright. Well, let me go up to Fossil Valley first, then. Hey, what's up? Who the? The poor army is currently investigating the area. It's off limits to the general public. Our investigation should be completed soon. Please don't scratch my eyes out. Okay, maybe I... I think I, that's it. I think I might have had to talk to them first. To trigger it. That might have been it, actually. Because you can't get past there without Radius in your party. He's not here. God, where is this bitch? Still ain't here. Going out for a stroll, my ass. Eh. Well, let me look in some of the other buildings, I guess.
damn cat. I'm out of my way. It's been a long time since I've been seen a demi-human. I guess the gates of the great beyond opened up. I just hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> yes, that's funny. <laughs> like, I hope you don't all die. <laughs> Hashtag memes. Hashtag 2020. Oh, a feline demi-human. Well, I've never seen anything like you. Are you from the Xenon continent? I've heard about a man named Lynx who used to visit General Viper up in Termina. Could you be him? Yes, that's me, bitch. I mean, kinda. My, who I ask are you? I don't believe we know any demi-humans. If there's nothing in particular, I ask that you please leave. If I may seem so, it may not seem so, but we're busy. Maybe I just have to talk to everybody, I don't know. What's up, dude? Well, what a surprise! How long has it been since I last saw a demi-human? What? You're a surge? <laughs> That's a good one. Meme is now a meme. Yep. So how does a surge end up becoming a terrifying demi-human like you? <laughs> That's a long story. Word of advice! Don't go telling this to everyone you see. The villagers might not find it funny. We villagers don't take too kindly to demi-humans, and everyone here likes surge. It's funny that nobody's like, how do you know who surge is, outsider? We're gonna roast your cat balls over the fire. I'm trying to talk to the little girl, but please, mister, please don't eat my Celine. I'm not trying to eat your damn lizard, kid. Oh, wow, the lizard just keeps getting in the way, so whatever. I could try the restaurant. I honestly do not remember how to trigger the battle with Radius. Um and a hum and a hum and a she sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Mickey is. The poor town of Termina has a cheer of dancers, but no one, I say no one compares to Mickey. But mind you, I've never actually seen Mickey dance. Oh, how I'd love to see them jiggle. Yeah, I'm talking about her arms, of course. Yowzer, I thought you were Surge. Mm, the demi-human Lynx? I may have heard something about him when I was up at Termina. I don't recall the details, but I believe he was a good friend of General Viper. Don't tell me you're... Yo, Demi-Human, have you heard anything about them group of thieves up on the mainland? If you ask me, you guys look a lot more menacing than those radical dreamers I've been hearing about. But man, I'm just kidding. And they say cats have nine lives, but watch it there, fella. The village folk have a short temper. Oh, hi there. Don't worry, I won't judge you. The books by their covers, you can talk to me. But actually, you really are quite scary looking. Please go away. Hey, why don't you talk to our chief, Radius? You might wind up in a fight hanging around here. I'm, just, I'm looking for him. Say, like, I don't judge a book by its cover, but you're scary, so go away. Hey, Orcha. Yes, what is it? Has word of my gourmet cooking reached even the ears of you demi-humans? No? No? Then what you doing here? Can't you see you're hurting my business? Can't you see I don't give a fuck? Alright. Uh, where are you, Radius? <laughs> white. <laughs> Hell of a white. <laughs> it's like, I won't judge you. I'm hashtag not racist at all. I don't see color. Wait, you're a scary cat person. Get away from me. Okay, I'm about to look this up because I don't know where the fuck he is and I don't remember and my notes only just say recruit Radius. I mean, it does say Arnie Village, home world, fight and recruit Radius. That's what my notes say in Arnie Village. So where the fuck is he? Have I talked to you two now? I don't think I have. It's been quite a while since I encountered demi in this village. I hear you only find demi in Guldo, but aboard the Zelbus these days. Well, hello there. Huh? Who are you folks? demi eh? Just don't cause any trouble in our village, okay? This is a nice place. This whole village isn't a persecution. <laughs> uh, maybe I have to go up here for some reason? I can't imagine why, but I could check out K-Pal. I don't know. I wouldn't imagine there's much going on here. Or maybe I have to go to Apasa Beach first. I know you can't switch worlds just yet. I think that might be it. I might have to go to Apasa Beach. Surge and Lena forever. Uh, not quite. I think that might be it, that I haven't been to Apasa Beach. 
I think you have to attempt to switch worlds and then it like doesn't work. And then you come back to the village. I think that might be the issue. I didn't write that down on my notes, but yeah. Yeah, beach chuds, yep. Oh, that butthole just spurted at me. You guys saw that, right? I don't even see the spot. Oh. oh boy, I am pressing every wrong button that I can press. And nothing happens. What's wrong, Links? Don't tell me the dimensional gate went open. Eh, you'll be in hot water now. Of course it won't open. The missing piece to this world has been found. There's nothing we can do. You are now just an unwanted piece. Very interesting. What are you going to do now, Lynx? I better we go explain our situation to your mother. We might be able to find something out. Alright, so now we go talk to Marge. Okay, that makes sense. I forgot about that part and I did not write it down. I, I did not at any point write a Pasa Beach. Go talk to your mother. Got a Marge. Uh oh, come on, Marge in charge. Large Marge. I'll crump with you, dear. Who might you be? May I help you? What? What did you just say? Your Surge. Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. Well, that she actually listens, though. <coughs> So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about dimensional distortions or about the other world, but if, like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening, it may have all started 14 years ago on the night of the storm. That night, your father, Wazuki, and his friend Miguel set out to sea despite a storm. It was an emergency. They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea. A place where no living creature dares enter. I don't know what he saw or what happened, but that incident changed your father. And your father's friend Miguel, that was Lena's father, he never returned. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe they called it the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Are you the ones everyone is talking about? Finally, here he is. Is that a cheese wearing a thong? No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive? Step outside, Lynx. For I, too, was once a valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. Ah la la la. Giza, I wouldn't show off like that. That is if you want to live. Do you not underestimate the power of Monsieur Lynx? One blow, and it's off to the other world with you. Silence! Now step outside! Take this shit outside! Finally, it took me too long to figure out how to fight him. On guard. Alright, Radius. Fuck you and your eyebrows. Oh shit. Yeah, you suck. that. Is that what that is? Is that a cheese wearing a thong? Oh, it says cheese force, like a triforce, but it looks like a like a triangle hunk of cheese that's like wearing a thong for, you know, reasons. I'm angry. I'm old. Open everything back up. Alright. I'll just do this. Really, Harl? Really, Harl? I think this guy's evade rate is just obscene. Long shot. Styling on me like that. Cheese work. Speed up. A banana hammock. Okay. 
Okay. You bush basher. I will bash your bush! Photon beam. What? That's actually gonna hurt. I mean, at least he has a lot of hit points, but still. That wasn't too bad. Wait. Oh, he's got some kind of status on him. Why can't I use elements? Oh, not enough power. Not enough level. Kick you in the shins. Alright, Harl, can you try actually hitting him this time? Inferno? Ow. Thankfully nobody's weak to that. Alright, um... Just thinking we need to heal Sprig. Hold on. Sprig needs it more than anybody. Wait, what is the status of the- oh, fatigue, okay. That's shitty. Well, he's weakened at least. Ow, quit it. That was my tits. I have eight of them. And you hit at least three. Alright, feral cats. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, ow, oh, oh, there's so many. Oh. God, he's still standing? I'm still st He's burned, uh. Let's take it. Let's take it. Play it safe here. Play it very safe. Defend. All right. Ah! My chest. My chest. In before Moogle goes chest. It's over. I stand defeated. Bloody fucking hell. Alright, 22 stars. Lynx gets 12 hit points, the strength of resistance, and level 1 slot. Sprig, 3 hit points, the strength of resistance, magic, magic resistance. And Harl, 3 hit points, strength, level 5 slot. And I gotta heal. Okay. Chest! Oh, see? Combo breaker, noun said it. Hmm? I do not sense any malice in your attacks. Do you really mean to tell me that you are not Lynx? And it is true that the general is still active in this other world? Here, the general has been missing for the past three years now. Understood. I shall accompany you. We may still have a chance to save the general and Riddell in the other world. So, this Giza is only going to get in the way. Radius joins your party, and he's good. Alright. Uh, I'll swap you out, because you're kind of redundant, Harl. You're cool, but you're redundant right now. There's no reason to use her, really. And he might have already have a silver weapon already, too. First, we must head to Termina, and gather news about General Viper's disappearance from this world. Don't worry. We'll find a clue to return to the other world. Alright, first things first. Uh, let's... The status thing. Because I never did that. I didn't do that for Harl, either, actually. There she is. So there's Harl. The enigmatic jester. Pretty much everything about her is unknown. And, yeah. There's Radius. Looks terrible for 62. He's the Arnie Village Chief. Okay, um... Let's... Where are you, Harl? Oh, she's literally right there. So we're going to remove everything off of you. And... I really ain't got time for this. Do that. Not a character I want to use that often, but we'll use him for now. Let me just stay in the bed here. That'll heal the burn without me having to use an ointment. Not that I'm missing ointments, but, you know. 
Why use a consumable item when you cannot use a consumable item? So the next thing we're going to do is go through Fossil Valley. And then we're going to start recruiting characters like crazy. But that's going to be next time. I'll get th we'll get through Fossil Valley and then I'll end it. Can't feel the burn. We gotta heal the burn. <laughs> there you go. There he is again. Why does he look like that? What is he? Our investigation is done. Let's get the hell out of here. I want to go back to poor. All right. Might as well fight this guy. This game doesn't have a piggy effect. You'd have to use some oinkment. Oh, we're real at. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Uh, we got a Mama Dingo. Wait, hold on, what color is it? Red? Yeah, it's red, okay. I'd like Sprig to take it out so I can add it to my list. But... She's got a better weapon anyway. Oink Mint. You really ain't shit for that. Where it'll at. Well, it weakened him. Boy! Erg! Congratulations, you bit an old lady. Are you proud of yourself? What now? You what, mate? Uh. They're cute ugly? Or ugly cute, I guess you could say? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Thanks, gets a health. Right, it's gets a health. And yeah, all that shit. Okay. I can hear an angry dodo. Yeah, he's, he's already jumping around. That would be a good one to add to get Sprig to add would be a dodo. It's a pretty powerful monster. There's also these guys. <coughs> I'm not planning on keeping Sprig in the in the party too long, but I'd like to add some monsters so that later when we try to recruit Janice we can actually do it. Oh, there's a dodo there. Cool. We got drongos and dodos. Let's start with the drongo. It's actually good to start with Lynx because he's weaker than the other two right now because of using an iron weapon when they're using silver. Well, I believe Radius is using silver. I didn't check. Wait, what color is this thing? Oh, it's green. This might take more than a little bit. Ow, quit it. Get fucked. Oh, really, dude? Ow. Alright, I'll try this. It's not gonna do a lot, but I'll try it. At least they aren't a fat ass toucan. Like Super Mario RPG. Alright, good. <coughs> oh, your mother! Oh god. Oh. <coughs> oh god. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. That was shitty. Oh god damn. Alright. Do you stop missing so much? Be very careful here. I don't want to kill it as Radius. I wouldn't mind weakening it. It's still not even weakened, so... This guy's got a lot of health! So let me ask you a question. Uh, 
All right, Sprig, you're up. I don't have anything to attack with, so it's weakened now, so there's that. No, not today, sir. Fuck off, buddy! Really? You're still alive. And well. God, die, you piece of shit. There we go. Alright, so that's a nice bulky enemy that she can turn into for the monster arena later. Well, that's that she turns into it, but... You, the monsters that you could use for the monster arena are the ones that Sprig has in her list. So Lynx gets one health, Radius gets one health, and I got a Carapace, a Mithril, and a Feather. Well, the Mithril's definitely worth getting. Glad I got that. Alright. Let's see. Something in here. Oh, it's actually over there. Lynx received the Infrared Vision Frame. That's another frame. Although I, I'm still going to stick to Skullduggery. I really, really like the Skullduggery frame. I don't really want to fight that guy. Alright. Ithril! Very cool. Um, I don't know if it's really necessary to go down here. It's okay if you fall apart. Sometimes tacos fall apart. We still love them. That is so true. Another mithril. Alright, I don't really want to fight this stupid thing. That's, I mean, that's true. You eat a taco, and if it falls apart on you, it's like all the ingredients are still there. Everything that makes it a taco is still there. And it's still tasty. Like, you don't be like, oh, this taco's ruined. I can't eat it. trapping some sort of black element. I'm not worried about that, because there aren't traps for any of the spells that I'd be using right now. That's that's like real talk right there. That really is. Like you can't trap attack, so enjoy this. Meow, 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 meow. Good damage. Squark! Squark! Am I gonna use all? Oh, right. Sprig Squid is all fucky. EB Agent, you're back! Real talk. Glad I decided to keep going for a bit to get through this uh, fossil valley. go. And let's see. Uh, is this Graviton? That would work really well here. Get fucked. Squark! 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 You dead. Honk, honk, honk. All right, let's see if we can finish him off here. Cause I'm free, free fall. Ah, fuck. <laughs> He's dead. Cool, good shit. Da 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 da. That's where he gets one health. You know, I'm, I'm actually kind of, like, if you guys are willing to hang out a little bit longer, I kind of want to go a little longer. I want to at least get to Termin and recruit a few characters before we, uh, stop. Because right now we literally have four characters total. We have Lynx, Sprig, Harl, and Radius. Radius is, like, the least shitty out of all those characters. I mean, Harl is good, but there's no reason to use her because she's a black innate character, and there's no reason to have two of the same color on your party since Lynx is black innate. So, um, yeah. So I think what we're going to do here is um, at least get a few, because we can get Zappa, I think, in Van at least. Termina is very different in this world. It's the first time we've been to Termina in Homeworld. Keep that in mind. Lynx! 
How dare you have the nerve to return to this town? Get out of here. Looks like the youngin's are an unwanted guest here too. You humans are downright selfish creatures. Always searching off for something or someone else to lie the blame in, aren't you? Sorry to hear you're in pain still. Alright. There's not much going on here. I don't know why I even came in here. Let's just go recruit some characters. Alright now, and you have a good day at work. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me today. Yeah, I'm like, I know about that. That's my rent. It is a large charge. Alright, first let's go in here. Alright, they're Scottish, so we're gonna do Scottish. Oi, that should do it. This here forge has always been had a fire since the olden times. It is sad to see it without its place. My apologies. Closing this shop for my own selfish desires. I've had to listen to ye for the longest time, and I didn't want to hear you say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So you're really going? Aye. Now that I didn't have the shop no more, like say, it's time to finish what we started long ago. You stay here and wait for Karsh's return. So they, they don't really get into it too much, but they, these are actually Karsh's parents. Zappa's wife, Zippa, yeah. It's already been three years. These three years haven't been good, too good to us. Our best patrons, the, dra the dragoons, disappear. The poor military gets on our asses. Well, since we've had such bad luck till now, I'm sure things will be good from here on out. Our son's probably fine as well. Aye. Hey. I'm trying to talk to you, dude. Radius! It's been a while. How fair is the village? You need not worry about the village. There are bigger things to concern us. He's grooving to some peaches and regalia. Nice. It's in, not L. Peaches and regalia. I'm guessing you're no from around here. Do you care a thing called the rainbow? It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for this rainbow. You wouldn't mind if I joined you, eh? Aye, great. Then I'll give you a wee token. Use this any time, and I'll find you and do my job. Anywhere you are, I'll give you my word. Get the Smith Spirit, which you could use to 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 forge anything from anywhere. So I joined your party. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, I'm not gonna add him right now. He's really good, but I'm gonna add him right now. I got some more stuff to do here. Call me anytime you like. Here's my number. Call me maybe. I know this is crazy. <laughs> All right, up we go. So notice this house is a lot smaller in this. It was a mansion in, in another world. In this world, it's, it's, it's a modest size house. Phew. Are you Van's friends? He's over in the back room. Also notice how skinny Go is in this world too. You said back room? I see no back room, sir. What are you talking about? There's no back room here. There's no back room here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nah, it's over here. No, no, that was in it. It was the other room. Shit. Okay, my bad. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? At least knock before you enter. That's real. Hey, so I need to talk to you, kid. Are you guys tourists? If you want, I'm willing to guide you around. Of course, there's a small fee involved. I think it's a bargain. How about it? No, I'm not here for that. Is that so? Oh, well, it's your loss. All right, I'll say yes. You have to say yes. So. You got it. Th that is... Huh? Cat. Yep, there's a cat though. You've had long enough to pay your debts, and I'm not going to wait any longer. Either you pay up now, or I'll have you move out of this house. But what will happen to my son and me? That's none of my concern. <laughs> All landlords are bastards, right? I just want to make this place into my personal storage for my precious treasures. Hey, wait, I'll pay that debt. Well, this is amusing. How is our little Mr. Van today? It's 
Garfield. Can we recruit Garfield? No, nah, Poshel's the closest thing. Actually, Lynx is the closest thing to Garfield. How can you have saved? How much could you have saved from your allowance? None of your business. This is what I got. <laughs> this won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Just wait a little bit more. Then I'll be able to get the money you need. What are you planning to do, little Van? Don't waste your energy on something so stupid. A lab, yep. I'm going with these guys in search for the frozen flame. So please, just wait a little while longer. <laughs> just listen to you. You're pretty bright, but you're still just a kid. It's so naive to think that, uh, believe in such a fairy tale like the frozen flame. Of course it's a joke, isn't it? No, we're, we're, we're totally serious. Totes. Totes. You actually believe in that legend? You have to repeat yourself because it didn't go through. Oh, weird. Are you people crazy or something? <laughs> Not a bad joke, though. The frozen flame is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures. Even if it's just a legend, there's something very tempting about it. All right, I'll wait a little longer. Have the frozen flame ready by the time I come back here. Be careful not to burn yourself. Although you'll probably never find it. <laughs> <laughs> How arrogant of her to just push us around just because we're poor. If only we had money. If only we had money, this never would have happened. Hey, hey, Van, none of that. Besides, even though we don't have money... I don't want to hear that from you, Dad. Where are we going to live as of tomorrow? We're out of money because you're not selling any of these paintings we have in this room. I'm sorry, Van. These pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. Your follow list just disappeared. Oh, it sounds like Twitch is doing a thing, huh? It's a good thing I'm going to be ending very soon. I only want to sell pieces that I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. Fine. Then I'm going to have to be the one to find us a place to live. <coughs> Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's absolutely positively nothing here, so there's no point in hanging around. Thanks. Thank you for all going along with my bogus story. Hmm, I think it's a pretty good picture. So why doesn't it sell? Dad isn't too active about selling his work. He says cocky things like he'll only sell to those who understand his work. Oh well, I guess I'll have to come up with the money myself. Okay, let's see. My piggy bank is... Yep, it's here. Okay, the money's in here too. Now the hardest part is finding a place to live. Next we have... Dad's homemade paint color, El Nido Blue. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were Dad, I would have sold this paint by myself and made a fortune off of it. That's obviously what he did in the other world. This seashell. Mom. The only remaining reminder between me and my mom is this shell. It's cracked. I can't even hear the sound of the sea. But I, I remember it all. Mom found the shell and held it gently to my ear, and I remember that sound, the sound of the sea. I also had a fit because I couldn't take home the sand castle I made that day. And now we have to move out of this house Mom and I lived in. But don't worry, Mom, I'll take good care of Dad for you. Van always had a hard time dealing with our troubles. Ever since he was a child, I made him do without many things so that he's grown a bit sarcastic. Yet he's very kind at heart, like his mother always was. One day, I wish I could let him do as he pleases, just like other children. You guys are still here? You need something, or are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually, what you were just saying... We really are looking for the frozen flame. Sassafras? Huh? If you're busy, if you're being sarcastic, you got me pretty ticked. Oh, I get it. Are you trying to cheer me up or something? Don't underestimate me just because I'm a kid. I know that no such thing exists in this world. Or are you all in some kind of simple? Or are you all some kind of simpletons? Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Stop looking at me like that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth. Even I can see that. But I can't do it. I just can't leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand. Although it's tempting. I'll be all right, Van. You don't have to find the frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go out in the world and broaden your horizons. Of all the people in the world, only a handful live in happiness. No, maybe even those who look happy aren't really happy at all. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness means. So go. 
dad. Van, just be careful not to, to lock up at night. It'd be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will. Be careful out there. Oh yes, wait just a moment. Take this with you. This is a boomerang? Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What am I going to do with this toy? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there'll be danger. This should help you when that time comes. And a boomerang always comes back when it's thrown. I want you to. Rem I want it to be a reminder to you. So it's like a good luck charm, huh? I don't care for such things, but oh well. I'll take it with me just in case. Well, considering that's your main weapon, Van, you might want to use it. Alright, we gotta go before she comes back again. Van joined your party, and it's good. Alright, there's just one more thing I want to do in this town before we end the stream. I don't really like to use Van, though. He's, he's not a good character to use. Like, call me when I can recruit Norris, right? There's a dude to talk to uh, that Radius has to have a conversation with. He's actually right by the entrance to town, I believe. Uh, is it the guy in the guard tower? Let's see. Oh, get Lynx! Thank you. Where's your cat ass? Compared to the mainland, there's still nothing special around here, but the view here cannot be matched. Are they going to move in out over here to permanently enjoy the country life? What was that about Chuck Norris, Moogle? Alright, not that guy. There's a dude somewhere around here that Radius is going to talk to. Is it you? Can it be you, Sir Lynx? You're safe, sir? Where have you been all this time? You've set up a temporary military point dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from Commander Norris, not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is the runes of Viper Manor. Please report your current status to him immediately. Not one of the guy I was looking for either. Hmm. Thanks, your hand held it in the cell well. Oh, shit! Mm, wait, probably this guy, actually. Ah, it's such a pity. The statue of Master Viper that I polished every day has been changed to this. The once magnificent manor is also long gone. If only Master Viper were here, none of this would have happened. If it isn't Sir Lynx, it's a great relief to see that you're safe. Eh, you're not who I'm looking for. Hey, get back here. This is the poor army state-of-the-art weaponry. As long as we have this, the citizens of Termina wouldn't dare revolt against us. Well, you are revolting. Uh, hmm. I thought it was this dude, but... He's not acknowledging Radius. Alright, whatever. I'm all worried about it. Was it this dude? I thought I thought I talked to this guy already, but I'll just try it again. Patrol booty, don't bother me. You ain't shit. Alright guys, well what we're gonna do is we're gonna end. Uh, I'm gonna come out here, we're gonna save the game. We're gonna go over the schedule, and we're gonna do a raid. Hi, Gibsy. Oh, oh don't lick my hands right now. Oh, you're a good boy though. You good pupper. Okay. Good Gibbsy Noodle. Oh, she's a good puppy, yes. And I'll also make a save state. Bop! Okay. Okay, Gibbs, don't jump or nothing. I can I oh, get down! Get down! Why are you. Oh, fucking hell, man. Calm your ass down. Just I said you're a good boy and I pet you, you gotta jump all over me and act like a shit. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Oof, oof is right. Okay, guys, so let's go over to this screen here. So join me tomorrow night. I will be playing some Trials of Mana. Definitely uh, looking forward to that. I know Twitch is uh, acting up right now. But we're going to try and get a raid off here. Uh, but let's see. So Trials of Mana tomorrow night. Uh, Sunday night will be Gurum in a Monstrous Adventure. Monday afternoon, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. Tuesday Night will be Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Wednesday afternoon, South Park, The Fractured Butthole. Thursday night, Treasure of the Rouges. Friday afternoon, a week from today, will be more Chrono Cross. So let's see who we're going to raid. Oh, hey, T-Sparkle, just in time. Yeah, apparently Twitch is dying slow a slow death right now. People have been reporting um, issues all over the place. So let's try and end the stream and do a raid. And I believe today we are going to raid... 
Dr. Barrel, who's currently playing Batman Arkham Asylum. From Robotic Cat to Human Bat is his stream title. We're going to raid Dr. Barrel. So let me give you guys a, uh, a raid call. Let's do a, a little bit of a Chrono Cross reference here. So there's your raid. Uh, oh, I don't know how that dreidel got in there. Just ignore the dreidel. But go ahead and copy-paste that as we go into Barrel Stream. He is currently doing Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm not sure if he's played it before or if he's playing it blind or whatnot. But uh, let's check it out. I'll see you guys on Barrel Stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for some uh, Trials of Mana. And I'll see you on the Discord and just around in general. Here we fucking go.